Sweet. So welcome back, everybody. Uh, let's start us off with a little bit of a recap. Uh, last session, you guys had a, a real swingy luck uh, from really good to kind of terrible. Uh, so we've got to go through all of that. Uh, after slaying the great Dragon, uh, you guys made it back to the Mandalorian encampment. Uh, Bryn was uh, reunited with her mother, May Wren, and uh, they kind of got to talk through a little bit of things, and uh, eventually you guys were able to convince her to at least give you guys a chance to prove that uh, the new, new Mandalore, Mandalore the Devourer, um, wasn't being legit. Uh, it, was, it was a pawn of uh, the Sith. Uh, and you guys uh, were able to convince her to give you guys a shot uh, to go aboard a ship and see what proof you could find. Uh, so May Ren took you guys uh, aboard uh, the ship uh, after uh, regular Ren did some uh, sweet piloting and got you guys up there pretty well and earned a little respect from her mother. Uh, once aboard the ship, uh, you guys uh, got up to a little bit of hijinks. Uh, you were able to uh, distract some of the Mandalorian guards with uh, tales of your conquest of the Crate Dragon. I think you guys named yourselves the Creators. Uh, so a little bit of craters are flowing around there. Uh, we were able to get some of them off their guard and uh, allowed Ren a chance to, to break into this system and find two points of interest for the groups. Uh, one being the the engine room uh, and the other being the uh, the kind of their data repository center. Uh, you guys went to this data center first and were able to uh, dispatch the droid guard before drawing any attention uh, and made your way into the center and got some incriminating evidence on the Mandalore, finding that uh, he was a pawn to Darth Nihilus, uh, the one that's been hunting Ping. Uh, so after finding that information out, you guys uh, copied it, uh, sent one copy to May Ren uh, and one copy to Clan Ordo, who you guys are working with to uh, hopefully eliminate or take over the ship uh, when the time comes. Uh, after that, you all wanted to disable the ship. Uh, so you, after touching base with the May Ren and getting her on board, uh, you guys decided to go to the engine rooms while May Ren got into position. Uh, that's where luck kind of turned on you guys, uh, and unfortunately, uh, were discovered uh, as you were taking out the security cams. Uh, and a group went to investigate, and were not able to kill them before they set off the alarm. So that's where we're going to pick up now. So you guys are on board uh, the Mandalorian Dreadnought. Uh, you hear just kind of the the war of alarms. Uh, flashing lights, red flickering all over. Uh, you guys, I believe, are still in the engine room, but you just hear chaos erupting. Uh, with the stolen comms, you guys hear that they've frozen the elevators uh, and are scrambling a team uh, out to uh, come deal with the intruders, uh, the Jedi who thought they could uh, get aboard Mandalore's ship. Uh, so that's where we're going to kick off. Uh, so. Basically, this section. Actually, what do you guys want to do? For, what's I'll give you guys a second before we kind of kick it off. Uh, what, what's uh, kind of the group's initial feelings? What's the kind of kind of the plan so far? Am I still doing the bomb, or are we just like? Yeah, what was I, ping? I thought you were like incredibly close to being done. I was like, I, I, I you know, that's the thing though. I think I was like thirty seconds into a one minute timer or wasn't right. it 36 or, you, uh, I don't know. 30 or 36 we'll say 36 but yeah you're you're around 30 for sure uh into the time uh to close to being done so do you and guys they, want me to hold or? so the alarms went off in in mm -hmm. the ship um but ping was down i don't know if you're doing anything other than just playing decoy right uh well we did go a little further than that because i remember those two guards came back and we killed you them. guys killed those two guys already yeah okay. so and we're... then we go ahead yeah we tried to get on the comms and like try so to back with the main company. group yeah okay so we regrouped the others are still in that room <laughs> potentially working on their you know on, on doing what they need to do but alarms are going off and it's basically what are we Chaos. doing here okay absolute mess as uh i sit sit around with um no, I guess I'm not that low on points, but not great. Yeah, we're. I remember that also. That in terms of force points, we weren't doing great. <laughs> um, yeah. So, yeah. I think your first big question is: Are you guys finishing the bomb, or uh, are you abandoning it? 
Um, so do we know if there's another way out of where we're at now, or is the elevator the only option? Definitely. Uh, give me uh, a tech check, or uh, give me an investigation check. We're going to make the Ithorian crawl through the vents. <laughs> uh, I'm sure it'll work out. Just stick it in one eyeball sock at a time. <laughs> That's about right for Ping. I'll tell you, Ping <laughs> kind of looks at the terrible lips with dismay. <laughs> uh, so, so you guys do know uh, the terrible lift cars are no longer running. Uh, actually, let me put up the little where you guys are uh, and where you need to be thing too so you should be able to see the picture of the dreadnought uh you guys are by the engine so you're gonna see a white arrow pop up in a second uh that's where you are uh and you guys needed to get to mandalore's room which is unfortunately a bit of a distance away over here where the black arrow popped up at ah yeah yep <laughs> i have to run if i walk anywhere the movie will be over <laughs> Um, who wants to go for a spacewalk? Yeah. Oh. No. No. <laughs> I mean, I can hold my breath a long time, but I don't know about the pressures of uh, space. Uh, yeah, so we know the turbo lifts are disabled. <clears throat> uh, as far as we know, that's the only way in or out. We could cut our way through the shaft and try to, I don't know, make our way to another mm -hmm. level. Cat, stop following me, please. <laughs> uh, we could just slice, uh, like not slice, like hack, like I'm talking lightsaber through the door shaft and make our way th um, at least to another level. It's movies, yeah. What what else? Else? So they, they what said else they stopped them, the right? Yeah. What else do we know about the layout of the ship? Like, what is? You know, yeah, can we can we go up to the like laundry level and and uh, you know maybe just deal with some disgruntled launderers or I mean what's uh, definitely so there are multiple levels through the ship. Uh, you guys are kind of on the bottom end of it right now with uh, being in the engine room. Uh, so there are kind of different levels you get to cut through and try to see if you could cross. Uh, the turbo lifts are shut down uh, throughout the ship. Uh, but that's not to say you can kind of figure out a way to uh, kind of get around that uh, or take different alternative paths uh, through the rooms. I was going to say, if they're sending a team down to us and they have stopped the turbo lifts, then there must be some alternative. Well, just because they stopped the turbo lifts doesn't mean that they can remotely access them. And uh... They said they stopped them, not, Ow. you know, paused them. I look up for the bright red glowing exit sign. <laughs> yeah. Excuse me, where's the emergency exit? Yeah. Sweet. So uh, the next section is going to be a bit of a skill adventure to see if you guys are able to uh, kind of make your way uh, there without too much heat getting on you. Uh, but you all do have to decide first. So are you uh, finishing the, the 24 seconds to set the bomb? You guys just want to throw the bomb on the engine and I can just shoot it? Yeah, is there another way? I mean, is there any other... We just blow well, it up. Yeah, I mean... What was the... I guess, the other, other than mechanics, what is the other purpose of setting it? The idea of setting it was so that we could get some, like, distance. Just, yeah, okay. But if, 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 I, if I got a... I mean, I can shoot it from 60 feet away. So, I mean, I know that Ren can freaking... Do we have any other grenades, them. explosives that we can, you know, toss in there as well? But I guess it's going to be the same same outcome either way. So, <laughs> yeah, I'm going to use my minds and cast project. <laughs> uh, I think we just leave it as it is right now and start running and, you know, shoot at it. <laughs> That's about it. You think so? Yeah. Uh, well, uh, with my knowledge of these explosives. Would I know if that would work or not? Uh, yeah, if you shoot a bomb, it'll, it'll probably explode. Uh, okay. So. <laughs> okay. All right, it'll work, guys. <laughs> so, uh, all right, I guess we'll just uh, do it live, as they say. Um, 
yeah, so I'll stop using my, uh, rem trying to, I don't know, arm it with my remote detonator and just throw it on the thing. Um, does anyone want to make a shot for it, or? Sure. Let so you throw it on there, and we'll start running. If I can take the you shot. Have, you probably have the best range. <laughs> Give us a three sixty no scope. Yeah, I'm three sixty no scope. How far? How far is the uh, the? <clears throat> oh, that that perfect. Um, sweet. So, uh, how close are you guys gonna gonna shoot it in the engine room? I guess uh, the question <laughs> is the question is. What is our maximum distance we have to get away? You know, like what? Yeah, like and how far also, can we get? What is on? it that I'm trying to arm it on? Because would these here be the? Yeah, those are the I engines. Think it's... Yeah. Yeah. Oh, um, yeah. If that's the case, then what if we just like force throw <laughs> a vibro <laughs> weapon into it? I don't know, man. I thought you were arming it right here. That's what I remember. Like right at the. Well, I was just arming it. I, I'm not exactly aware of where it was, but it's You're gonna be a little awkward for us to curve the throw, shot. Throw another grenade down just in in the middle of the room. Oh, well, what, hopefully it has range. Shoot that out, and then whatever. I mean, at are this we trying point, to, are we trying to daisy chain the yeah explosives? Okay. I mean, at this uh, point, it, it, you know, we're uh, we're SLL anyway, so yeah. we're trying to make it work. Um, let me, nope. Keegan. Do you know the the range, the radius of the mines? Um, uh, not offhand. Uh, so if it's the, uh, look up the uh, what's it called? Southern detonator. Uh, oh, the remote detonator is um, no, two hundred. Uh, something charge. I mean, uh, let me. I'll just look it up. Uh, Reaching right. charge. Is that what we're using? Uh, they renamed it fragmentation charge. Okay. Uh, so right it's here. uh, fifteen wait, foot. Fifteen. Cone. Yeah. Wait, the am cone. I using the fragmentation yeah. charge or the mines? Because that's uh, something different, right? Well, I thought you were using the charge. I'm not sure what you're using then. Yeah, breaking charges I, are just one directional, anyways. So you I can didn't, just push the button and blow them up. I yeah. didn't think that I was using the. I don't. I, You're using the breaching charge. I remember that for sure. Okay, okay, so. okay. If I, if I was using the breaching charge, I was using the breaching charge. I, uh, I, I don't know what I was using. Ren, give me a technology check. Okay. Uh, what are the di What's the difference here? Was that a recent change, Tegan? Yeah, um, a couple more, about a couple 26. months ago. Oh, okay. Uh, it's, I think it does the same thing. They just renamed it for some reason. Well, fragmentation <laughs> charge still says breaching charge in it, so that didn't get fixed. Oh, it did? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, I confused the hell out of me one day. I was trying to give it off the loop, but yeah, it's the same thing. Uh, sweet. So, technology roll. Uh, so, Ren, you would know there is another option depending on how crift up you want to make the engines. Uh, you could just slice in and just mess up their code a decent bit to take the engines offline for a little while. They'd be able to eventually reboot it, but it'd buy you some time. Uh, something you could do fairly quickly if you chose. Okay. I'll just uh, sort of sprint towards whatever console I can get to and say, uh, Noru, get out of there. We're <laughs> making this quick. Noru, you're taking uh, too long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is the longest 60 seconds of my life. <laughs> Ren, is, Ren isn't one to just do stuff, you know, off the cuff, but we're sort of at a, a crunch right now, so she's gonna go wherever the nearest terminal is and slice in. Sweet, uh, give me a slicer's check. Okay. And please, 17. Nice. Uh, just enough. Uh, you're able to uh, get in there. It takes you a little bit of effort, but you're able to bypass the Mandalorian's code. Uh, and it kind of just junk up the uh, the engine system, uh, just really slow down the processes, and you eventually hear the uh, engine start warring uh, and then click off. Easy squeezy. All right, and then I just start running towards the uh, <laughs> the rest of the group, and I assume if we're going to try and climb the shaft now. <laughs> Sweet. So uh, we're going to kind of get to the skill adventure piece. Uh, this is going to be a, a bit difficult for you guys. Uh, so yeah. it's going to be seven successes, three failures. Uh, it's a little bit of a refresher on the skill adventures. I know it's been a little bit of time since we've done one. Uh, basically, uh, so right now you guys are trying to avoid the Mandalorians who are hunting you and make your way uh, to Mandalore the Devourer. 
excuse me basically uh so with this you're going to try to find different abilities skills or just ways you have uh to help avoid or get you guys closer there uh so for instance like uh if you were uh trying to hack into a system you kind of go over like oh so i'm gonna plug my slicers kit into uh do xyz that'll help the party get here uh so basically it's kind of different thematic things you can do uh within uh the confines of this adventure that'll help uh, the party succeed uh one thing you're not able to do multiple iterations of the same skill at least in the, uh, within a round so if somebody uh used a survival skill you'd have to use a different skill uh or yourself you can double up on survival uh, you are able to uh, help people, so it gives people the help action. Uh, you just roll, uh, so you still roll for it, uh, but the nice thing is your DC is super low for it. Uh, so it's usually five lower than the typical DC. So it makes it a little bit easier that way in case you don't have anything specific or good that you really want to do on your own, and but somebody else has something planned that you think may work, uh, you can definitely give them that help action. Uh, let me see if I'm forgetting anything on that side. Yeah, so a nice thing too, the DC can vary a little bit depending on kind of how well you describe, how well it seems to, uh, to fit in or how kind of likely for success it will be. So definitely come up with some cool descriptions there and I can uh, help out on that side. Uh, sweet, so kind of getting back into it, you guys are kind of running through, you see here the blaring of the, the alarms, you know the Mandalorians are coming for you and you're on a dreadnought full of them. So uh, what are you guys thinking? We just took out the engine. Before we, yeah, before <laughs> yeah. we go, can I grab one of the comms from one of the guards we killed? I already have one, if you want. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna pass the, uh, um, that to you. All right. So that is the only way I'm useful. <laughs> so. <laughs> I have, I have, uh, for, for you guys to know, I got, I'm really good with a security check. Uh, I have a disguise check kit. I don't think we'll get to use it, but <laughs> I can unlock doors. So that's hey. something I can do. So. Yeah. Um, Dude, okay. Need to, like, lay on my lap. So I'm thinking my plan right now is just to try and get through those doors and start climbing the floors here the shaft and <laughs> it's very cinematic but uh you know you figured you could also like here. um maybe maybe uh maybe not lock the doors but bar the doors or uh disable the um the door access maybe just an idea anywhere behind us I yeah, into we, that room. Yeah, we run into the room. We disable the control panel, and then, you know, book it. That way, it kind of locks off that entry point for them, so they can't catch us from the rear. Disabled. Yeah. So, so what you guys is, so you guys uh, dis disabling something first, or head into the doors first? What you guys is first move? Nora, you're talking about the room we're coming out of, right? Uh, I something was, else. I, I, my, my, I, like, I'm just thinking of ideas for us to, like, when we're, you know, we run through a door, we, you know, close mm -hmm. it, we disable the thing. Oh, there's a locked door. I can unlock it. I'm just talking, like, in generalities. Okay. Right. These are, these are options that I'm thinking of. And then, Tegan, are we, are we at a point or it's still kind of on us to make a, an initial move? Are we at somewhere? So definitely not at uh, so depending on what you guys decide to do. So you're kind of right now you're running through the corridor. So uh, once you make your first move, or it sounds like you guys are thinking of heading towards the. Uh, the I mean, we got to uh, get to to this guy's uh, room, right? I mean, that's basically. Oh, that, that's the goal for sure. Yeah. yeah. So we got we got to go go find Lover Boy. So let's do it. <laughs> I mean, Although I guess I'm gonna just. Yeah, because especially once the alarm went off, I, I kind of yelled at everyone. Said, we got to go. We got to move. So, right. This is uh, yeah. survival mode. Do it live. Um. So yeah, let's just run. <laughs> Are you guys uh, looking for a different path or heading to the lifts like Ren said, or uh, what are you all thinking? We know they're disabled. Yeah. Or do we not? Yeah, but I, I was planning on climbing. 
Oh, okay. Sorry. Yeah, you did see yeah. that. Um, I thought it was just an idea, but I figure I can't see. So far, we haven't like discovered in character any other way to get up floors. Currently, we're you know. Can we re-enable the lift? Is it possible to turn it back on? Try. Yeah, you could definitely uh, give that a shot. So, uh, so Ren, you reach it. Uh, you do see uh, that the, the the lift door is locked. Uh, you do see kind of a port next to it. If you wanted to try to try your hand and, uh, and break into the system. Yeah. Sure thing. Okay, and slice. That's a thirteen. Let's go. <laughs> You unfortunately, uh, as, as you kind of go to break through the system's code, you feel with the uh, the lockdown, they've actually strengthened up a little bit, got a little more uh, for the firewalls up and blocked your attempt to slice in. Uh, and you yeah. do start to hear uh, kind of uh, on the, the, pretty much you're kind of next to a panel of lifts and you do hear uh, on the lifts uh, kind of onto the right of you, uh, kind of just the grinding of something coming down. That's why I was really trying to get get could us I to go the mechanical route and the technical could I route. Try but to do the, uh, could I try to force my security kit to see if I could get through the door? Yeah, you'd you have to try to see if you can just pop it open with a security kit. So uh, give me a security kit, Jack. Okay. Security kit. There we go. Right. Hey. So you guys hear that grinding oh. coming through, uh, but luckily, uh, even though it was able to get through the electronic mains, Nora was able to uh, use that security kit, pop the lock, uh, and open uh, the lift doors. You see kind of a long cylindrical, uh, kind of a long tube. Uh, there are some uh, kind of ladder on the far side, uh, probably about a five foot jump uh, that you can make your way to. It's a five foot jump. Mm-hmm. I can jump. You going up or down? Uh, you guys want to go up. Are yeah. we the white arrow or black arrow? White. Oh, white. Okay, yep. I had it the other way. Okay. Makes sense now. There, There's a black arrow? I can't see yeah. it. You guys zoom out. It's way to the front of the right ship. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I see it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I see. I see. I see. It's a big ship. I'm up and just keep going. I was about to say, well, it's surrounded in black. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, okay, so the lift is five feet below us? Okay. So we just need to jump to the other side and grab the ladder? Yep. Uh, so you guys can, can make your way through. I think nobody's strength is negative, is it? My strength is negative. Uh, I will, uh, I will I'll stand at the door. <laughs> I'm going to stand at the door and just say, all right, jump. And I'm going to assist everyone in their jump uh, to get across. To, and grab on. Um, I do have what, actually uh, Force Leap, which is just the at will version of it, so it lets me use charisma when I do athletics. So. Perfect. Uh, well, between uh, the Force Jump uh, and Ool giving uh, some assistance out, uh, you guys are able to beat the five foot barrier there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so in order to start making your way up, uh, eventually, uh, as you guys do, uh, as you're climbing, you do start to hear grinding uh, coming from above you, uh, and look up and do see a hover or kind of a little elevator car coming down your way. Uh, what do you guys do? I thought these things were shut down. They said. Um, so I thought it was shut down. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Is do there... I know the names of the guards that I was hanging out with by chance? Do I know one of the names? Oh, roll me a d20. We'll say 10 plus you do. Well, that's happening. Do we see a, a doorway to another, uh, another, another level? level? Yeah, or just a place to suck it in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, definitely. So uh, as you guys look around, uh, you do see there is a, a door a little bit further above you that you could kind of make your way towards. Uh, you also get sucking it in probably wouldn't work, uh, uh, except maybe, actually, no, you guys are ping maybe the best one for sucking it in, but uh, the rest of you guys are probably a little too big uh, to do that. I'm a small uh, boy. I'm a scrawny <laughs> boy. I, helping everyone through, I'm going to, I'm likely the last one up the ladder. I'm just going to... As I hear that, just yell up, uh, get to that closest opening and get through that door. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get jump on the, the comms and I'm gonna change my voice to the, the guard. 
And then, um, what was his, uh, what was, what was their name? Oh, we'll say his name is, uh, Val. It's a pretty common Mando name. Uh, I'm just going to jump on the comms with his name and say, uh, this is Vowed. We're in pursuit. They popped open the elevator hatch. Um, they went down, and I need you to turn off the uh, turbo lift. It's about to crush us. All right. Uh, give me uh, either deception or performance. All right. Come on, dude. <laughs> go. Is that deception or performance? Yep. Uh, we'll do the deception here. Nice. nice. <laughs> Uh, you hear them go uh, over the cobs. Uh, affirmative. We'll disable the turbo lift. Uh, halting squad three's advance towards the targets. Uh, let us know when you have an update. Uh, and you see that the turbo lift come to a stop. Uh, so you guys have uh, two successes right now, one failure. Uh, hey. So uh, who's going to try their hand at uh, popping the door open? What What's it I look mean... like? Uh, so this is a pretty heavy metal door. Uh, on this side, you really don't see any uh, kind of anywhere where mechanical tools may be able to pop it open easily. Okay, and slicing tool? Uh, there is a little slicer support, uh, but uh, you know, with your Tashi, uh, you just use slicers already, though, so uh, uh, maybe a little difficult on that side. Hack like, it and slice. Yeah, someone. Someone has got to hack this thing open, please. As in, like, as long as there's like... enough uh, room to move around everyone um i will i'll kind of climb over and and you know just go to good old standby lightsaber and just try and cut it cut it open sweet oh, no. uh make a lightsaber attack Let's i go. wasted my good one earlier <laughs> no oh, right. same roll nice uh, sweet. So you guys see Wool kind of uh, maneuver his large Thory body around you guys uh, up through the tunnel shaft. Uh, it gets right to the door, uh, and you, he's able to cut through. Uh, it kind of make you guys new exit uh, for the uh, the kind of lift terminal. Uh, watch you guys uh, get through. Uh, you do see it looks like you've gone up a couple levels. Uh, the level you're looking on uh, now seems to be more of a more of a barracks type level you see uh, looks like uh, some different rooms uh, filled with beds and just kind of a mess hall around you uh, what do you guys do next Ping do you want to get that turbo lift going again <laughs> give them some misdirection uh, yeah so I'll jump back on and just be like uh, this is out again we're clear the turbo lift can proceed uh, you hear the, the guy get back on and goes where are the targets? Uh, do you have an ETA? Um, do I know the floor below us? Was uh, so uh, the, the couple floors below you was that engineering floor. You guys went up probably about two or three floors. Uh, we'll say the one right below that uh, is more of kind of like a, a facilities floor. So mixture between kind of a laundry and different resources like that. Yeah, so I'll just tell them. Uh, yes, they're in the uh, facilities area. We tracked them into the laundry room. Uh, we've got them pinned in, and we need reinforcements. All right, uh, give me a performance roll. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, four. We don't have any uh, inspos, do we? Uh, we used a lot. Yeah, yeah you well, hey, you know. last time. Let me see if you, you gotta have... use them sometime. True. Mm -hmm. uh, let me see what you guys got. Uh, you all have. We have two left. Yep. I mean, this will be uh, our second failure of three. FYI. Yeah, <laughs> I've got a pretty good shot of passing it. So performance. Yeah, I'm just. I'll use it. Oh. <laughs> How? Oh, okay. Of course, you, know, Ping, you 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 have like an auto succeed button, Ooh. right? Yeah. <laughs> but our, um, it can only be used so many times a day. Yeah, yeah, well, twice I still a day. have it. Is that? I thought that was persuasion. Uh, yeah, that was persuasion. persuasion. Oh, never mind. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so you hear uh, kind of the look, a little pause as you stop speaking, uh, and then you hear the uh, the Mandalorian come back. <sighs> Com location doesn't match where you say you are. So sending a squad to help investigate. 
Uh, and you hear the terrible lips uh, start to get going. Uh, looks like it's going to stop at your floor. Uh, well, what's everybody else doing? Uh, I turn to the group and say, I think they found Vowed. We, <laughs> we, we, could, um, just, we could just take him. Stand, yeah, hold an action. <laughs> I was, yeah, Ren's first in, instinct was to hide, but if we want to take him, we can take him. There's uh, five, Bigger, four, I four of us. I mean, these turbo lifts weren't that big, right? Yeah, they're not huge. Uh, it's probably like a large elevator size. I mean, I could set a mine at the walkway. Not a terrible idea. <laughs> so they walk out and just boom. Is there any way to like stand off to the side that's a little bit uh, so like doors open and we're not obviously right there and you know we're yeah. off to the sides. We can kind of do a little. Rent's gonna hide somewhere beforehand just to you know get the jump on them. <laughs> yeah, so uh, you guys could definitely kind of stand to either side of it. Uh, so they would have to come out to be able to see you guys. Uh, are you uh, gonna try to set a mine or what are you thinking there? Would we be within uh, a yeah, safe That's going to take too much time. Yeah. I mean, They're coming not, down setting right a now. mine, setting a mine isn't very, doesn't take a long time. All it takes is to actually set it and then arm it. With doing a remote detonator, that's the thing that mm. took me a whole minute. I mean, I just say we just hack and slash once they pop out. I'm just trying to think of cheeky ways for us to kill them. Because uh, on the other side, we don't want to destroy the lift if we need to use it. Right. Um, How big is the turbo lift? Is it a pretty small space? It's like, it's probably about ten feet about. Uh, so like, so decent size. Uh, so it could be like used to kind of carry some material. So it's about ten feet. So four squares, we'll say. I have an idea. Uh oh. Um. <laughs> We'll see, because I'm going to cast Darkness okay. right at the edge. Uh, so, Theory, once they open the doors, it'll it'll be Darkness in the lift. Okay, can I go ahead and do something? <laughs> I want to get out my, uh, my uh, Tech Blade and my Shoto, and I want to take the... Uh, I want to use the Ideal of the Hunter giving me right. a uh, uh, vision. Sweet. So uh, we'll keep this in the uh, the skill adventure. So Ping, give me a uh, spell casting check. So that'll be your charisma plus uh, proficiency. Uh, and Noru, give me an attack. An attack? Mm -hmm. All right. Primitive show do. Huh. Nice. nice. Uh, so... Ping, uh, you're able to just blanket the area on darkness. Uh, Noru, uh, with uh, your, your skill uh, or with your kind of a deal of the hunter, you're able to see through that force magic uh, darkness and find uh, and see kind of as you see the Mandalorians pop out, they're disoriented. You see them clicking their, their helmets, trying to see through it. Uh, and uh, you're able to get in there and just demolish them. Uh, you see those four, four Mandalorians within that unit. It's ours, boys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I turn around. I found us a turbo lift. <laughs> Sweet. So you guys have, uh, I think, five successes right now and two failures. Nice. All right. I'll do okay. it. That, that, that's all it takes. It just takes one. <laughs> just takes one. Sweet. So, what's uh, the group's next uh, step? Uh, so, you do have, uh, once the darkness clears, you uh, do you have a turbo car there. Uh, it, if you are, are you guys taking that route, or what are you all thinking? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to take the turbo lift if y'all are. Yeah. We went up. We made it up one, one floor. Uh, three floors, yeah. And we got to go how many more? Uh, so about t ten more. <laughs> Ooh. Gosh, yeah. Let's, that let's take good. it. Yeah, I like our <laughs> going up. I like our odds. As much as I love got... climbing up, you know. Elevator then we shafts. have to make a mad dash across the ship. I feel like mad dash is going to be exactly the proper term for it. <laughs> yeah. 
Sweet. So uh, you guys activate the turbo lift. Uh, it goes up a few floors like normal. Uh, you hear blaring over the comms. Uh, unit 631, uh, you have left the designated area. Uh, please report. Uh, what do you guys do? Oh, you got, I can try to report, I suppose. Yeah, so from the uh, comms... Well, from would you be able to? You've already used deception and... Um... Performance, but not persuasion. I do have persuasion. Oh. Yeah, and that's that's yeah. An auto success. That's actually yeah. my auto pass. Yeah. Try and persuade him. Yeah. So I'll uh, I guess try to persuade him. And what was the unit number that they just gave us? Uh, six three one. Six three one. So from their comms, um, I'll just come on and I'll be uh, six three one in pursuit. They have climbed up the elevator shaft uh, to the thirteenth level. Are you, are you using your auto success or? Uh, yeah, I'll use the so twenty one. <laughs> uh, you hear a uh, cutter of the com report. Uh, understood. Uh, holding off. Uh, once you make it to unit thirteen, we'll re-disable the turbo lifts. I want to. I want to take a second to just imagine what the people in like the planning room are going through. See, because they have so <laughs> many different reports, just everywhere. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> they are probably are freaking out like one of those newsrooms with things <laughs> just like yeah. at different screens just panicking <laughs> yeah there's just little pings popping up everywhere like oh my god <laughs> where aren't they little how's pings. um should, should, we take, oh. should we take these uh mandalorian bodies and while we're in the lift try to i i mean i know i know that uh you're gonna have a little difficulty fitting into them, Todd. Oh but, gosh! <laughs> you know we can try. We're, we're already suited up, I thought. Or that's we true. Are. That's mm -hmm. true. You are. Yeah, we look like Mandalorians. Yep. Um, how is uh, how's Mama Mama Ren doing? <laughs> hey, Mom, what's up? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you guys gonna try to send her a message? I thought she was with us, wasn't she? No. No, she was. She was separate. <laughs> How separate? I think we called and said, like, hey, we need you to be here. Or did we send a message to the other man? She was she was waiting by the uh, other guys. Yeah, she was waiting by Mando, the uh, Bowers? Wait, what was yep. his name? Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, she was waiting just, there. Just making sure. I thought, for some reason, I thought she was sitting by the turbo lift when we had gone in to blow stuff up. So oh. I'm just imagining us all in this turbo lift, very uncomfortable silence, and then runs like, ah, I gotta call my mom real quick. <laughs> uh. well, you guys, uh, you make it up to the floor uh, with uh, nothing crazy happening to you. Uh, you do see uh, as you kind of uh, the turbo lift opens uh numerous guards kind of walking through the area. Uh looks like this area is pretty heavily patrolled. Yeah. Well, we're here. <laughs> Let's not stand around. Uh, are they all looking at us, or are we just going to keep... Because I, I said we just fuck on forward. Just go. Casual. I mean, could we try to sneak around? I think around? With, with purpose, you know? Definitely not like, oh, yeah, we're just hanging out. <laughs> oh, yeah. that make, well, Maybe they know what we... Maybe they know what we look like. I think they know who we are. I think yeah. they know that like we're the ones that sabotage the engine room. We can only do so much, though. So. Yeah, but I mean, we could just walk yeah. out there with confidence and see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> as long as we're confident. I, I mean, what else are we gonna wrong. do, really? I'm <laughs> gonna. I'm. I'm. I'm going to have my weapons concealed, but nearby. Just. I have a blaster pistol just kind of like ready, and I have my Shoto just kind of concealed under my sleeve. Uh, so you guys uh, just kind of just walk it out? I, um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Let's do it. Uh, so as you guys uh, you leave the elevator, uh, it takes a little bit for someone to notice you as you're walking past, uh, but you do see uh, two of the patrols kind of stop on their tracks uh, and look toward you, blasters leveled, uh, and it goes, oh, we found the intruders, Whoa, it's the intruders. <laughs> Let's run. I mean, I, 
I mean, <laughs> where I'm at is not even like, oh, let's engage in combat and, you know, get these guys over with. Let's just, like, bolt. <laughs> How about we just, uh, uh, uh... So we're not gonna talk our way out. We just run. <laughs> let's just run. Yeah. Just, I could yeah, cast... Follow along behind Ren and... Let's mad... Let's mad dash. I could use Force Blur to make myself a little bit more... <laughs> All right, uh, are you guys uh, doing a mad dash, it sounds like? Yeah. <laughs> uh, so one of you guys, give me an athletics check. So this is your uh, seventh, uh, this would be your eighth success or your third failure. So one person, uh, make that athletics check, and so we'll see how it goes. Didn't we, we only need nice. seven? <laughs> nice. Yeah. Uh, That's two successes. It is, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, <laughs> uh, with uh, the force behind him, Wool just darts, uh, kind of uses that force to energize the rest of you guys. Uh, Sliding over just, tables. <laughs> <laughs> hopping over tables, like just like uh, footballing past some of the Mandalorians. Uh, completely knocks with the guy that spokes off his feet. Uh, and you guys are able to make a mad dash uh, towards the, uh, the Mandalore's room. Uh, you leave uh, the patrols uh, in the dust, uh, kind of maneuvering around some of the corridors and get enough distance behind you with that spread uh, that you, you think you've lost them. Uh, after some time, uh, as you guys are kind of still jogging through the uh, the ship, uh, you do make it uh, to an ant, uh, kind of a, a chamber uh, that looks pretty similar to the description that May Ren gave um, the Mandalore of the Devourer's room. Uh, what are you guys thinking? I set a breaching charge. <laughs> Jesus. Let's, just I'm not contacting. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Con I'm kidding. Contacting mom. Plot <laughs> twist. Mom's going to be in there inside with him. Like, eh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I was thinking about that and I was like, it's fine. If I got to kill my mom. It'll be fine. <laughs> I'll have trauma, but I'll get therapy. I mean, it's. I didn't want to go there, but I was like, this is their bedroom. And then it's like, oh, no, you know. <laughs> I'd say it's not Star Wars if your parents don't die. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know she's going to die somewhere. Yeah, that's how it works. Uh, <sighs> sweet. Uh, so, oh, so you said you're going to try to contact her? Yeah, and just be like, hey, we're here. Uh, <laughs> they trying to double cross us. <laughs> as you blur the calm, uh, you kind of hear it just going. And like a ringing or kind of making this little chiming noise uh, and chimes and chimes and chimes uh, but she does not pick up alright that's fine let's get this over with let's cut the door open guys <laughs> yeah let's get through perfect uh, so you guys uh, are you cutting through the door Actually, no roll necessary uh, you guys cut through uh, so you saber through the door uh, and you do come out and flip it Uh, so you see, uh, as you kind of open that door, uh, a room filled with Mandalorians. Uh, you see one in the center who has pretty ornate looking armor. Uh, it's got kind of a mixture of gold and red uh, with uh, kind of a large red cape behind him. Uh, you see he's rocking a pretty nasty looking rifle on there with him, uh, as well as a vibro blade on his back. Uh, you see the others have taken uh, cover around the area, uh, but you see Devourer looks at you uh, and kind of just shakes his head, uh, and kind of nods back to a uh, figure in the corner uh, surrounded by a blue energy shield, uh, which you guys oh. know is Mayren. Uh, Some, looks like kind of <laughs> <laughs> uh, looks like uh, she can see that she's breathing, but she looks like she's kind of went through the ringer. Uh, and you see the devourer kind of look back at you guys and go, <sighs> "She was a good commander. I enjoyed having her as part of my army. You made her betray me. You made her. Uh, you see a kind of a uh, gesture." distribute this drivel, uh, this lies, this slander uh, to amongst my troops. You have been a thorn in my side. 
What did you expect to happen, you foolish Jedi? You can, can't even control your own Republic. Did you think you would be able to stop Mandalore? The, once again, there's no Revan here to save you this time. Joke's on you. Republic doesn't even like us. <laughs> See, he just shakes his head. Well, at least I'll get a few more lightsabers today. Uh, boys, you should take them down. We'll kill your mother after we've finished with you. Uh, and everybody, roll me initiative. Good old shower. I hope you've uh, met my father before, because you're about to go meet him. <laughs> and he's fucking, he's Griffin dead. <laughs> All right. Oh, I don't think I rolled that right. No, I did not. Hold on. I am happy. <laughs> Okay. Hold on. It's really giving me a hard time here. Well, 20's just going through it. Do I just turn invisible? Do I just... Here we go, and I got an 11. Ren. Why had you in there? Okay, cool. I was just gonna roll again I edit right. myself. Oh, yeah, you can do that too. That's cool. Yeah, I figured out that little money, so you can do 11.18 like that. And get each time you make an attack, you can move up to 5 feet without provoking an attack. Okay. Tricotta. Bonus action. Why is it? Alright, uh, Neuro, you're up first. Okay, I'm gonna start by... <sighs> so there's this dude here, this guy here, and then him, 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 and the boss here, right? Yep, that's right. So yeah, you see the, the guy next, uh, right by the door, you see is a large... Beskar looking shield with a, a pretty wicked looking blade uh, that he's carrying. Uh, looks like he's built for up close combat. Uh, the other three uh, with uh, kind of around uh, surrounding the Mandalore, uh, you see looks like just pretty typical soldiers, kind of some of the fair that you fought already. Uh, nothing too special about them. Uh, the guy in the back, though, uh, has a pretty nasty looking sniper rifle, and you see him ducking behind cover uh, as he lines up his shots. Okay. Which one? This dude? Okay, cool. Okay. I'll go for him. I'm going to start second. with Force Camouflage, um, just to kind of... One, two, three. And I'm going to take my bonus action to take the... Um, I'm going to take up the Tricotta form as my bonus action and I can move up to ooh, 30 feet so how far is that oh uh, well if you've, if you've got camouflage they've already got disadvantage against you well right I know but uh it, I have a I have a plan kind of, sort of maybe alright yeah I'm gonna run out 30 feet out here and um yeah, just kind of, kind of run out, and there's just kind of hide in the middle of the <laughs> area. Okay. So are you still doing Tricotta? Uh, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna still take up Tricotta just so that I have oh. that form ready, and I'm going to have my uh, vibro and I'm gonna say my uh, vibro whip ready. Definitely. Uh, so Tricotta, you have to be within five feet of uh, whoever you're gonna be doing the thingy on, uh, but also give me a stealth check too. Right, but can't I just take up the, the form? Isn't that the idea, that you take up the form as a bonus action, and then when you do an attack, you can use your bonus action to then do that effect? Am I wrong? No, you have to see, so yeah, your bonus action uses the effect, but you, with your effect, you have to be within five feet of a creature. 
Okay, yeah, I'm not trying to use the effect. I'm just trying to get to get into the form. It goes once per turn, though. I think I think that's the confusion. Okay. I think. Okay, never mind. Are, you're trying to like turn it on and then use it another turn, right? No, I'm trying to because it takes a bonus action to get into the stance and then to use the and it takes another action to use the effect, right? No, uh, so it's just you're, it's all within your bonus action, but it, Todd's right; it only lasts one turn. Okay, okay, never mind. I'll just use my bonus action to, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'll, I'll uh, use a. Uh... Probably hide would be a good idea too, because you're still making noise. Uh, so let you. <laughs> I take the dodge action. <laughs> uh, so. Or would I be able to hide? I mean, I don't uh, think hide would probably be your best choice. Uh, you can't They're dodge on your bonus <laughs> action, yeah. So hide would uh, give you a stealth roll advantage to make sure people can't hear you too. Okay, sure, I'll do the hide action. And you've got covert, so you can do that as a bonus action. Yay! Yeah, so that's what I do. I'm just hiding for right now. Perfect. Yep. So uh, give me a stealth roll advantage. Nice. Sweet. So you're able to go invisible uh, and get into the room and uh, get to make your moves without uh, t anybody taking notice of you. Uh, and is that the last person before 20? It is. Uh, so as you see uh, the man lords, he kind of levels his rifle at you. You see him start barking out orders. Uh, and he yells, uh, all right, get in the position, man. Light these criffers up. Uh, show them the true power of Mandalore. Show them the reborn of Mandoa. Uh, and you see the other guys start taking position. And did I not post that? Uh, so he's going to use a. Uh... Sorry, I'm on one screen today. My wife's using the computer room right now. How oh, rude. <laughs> well, I, I can't. She's on a, a board meeting, so she got stuck working like super late. <laughs> oh, no. Work? No. Uh, I've grown too used to having two screens. Oh, I've gone to G. So you're going from, from digital to in person? That's another thing, too, to manage all, like, oh, my yeah. God. all your papers and things. Yeah, I, I have not missed not having a ton of paper. <laughs> <laughs> I've got like too lazy for in person audience. Is it not? Can you guys see this? Is it just going I to be? Yeah, oh, I can you can. It, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, it. it kept it on my screen. It's telling me I'm sending it to myself for some reason. Like, that's yeah, weird. we got like three in here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, that's so that works. Uh, so you see, uh, the other Mandalorians begin uh, hefting their rifles, uh, and trying to get a position. Uh, you see, this guy uh, runs over uh, and kind of locks up with Ool. Uh, the guy to the left behind the uh, little mini bar uh, takes out his blaster rifle and takes a shot at, unfortunately, Ool there uh, for uh, 10 energy. So you see him kind of bring that rifle up uh, and take a quick shot. Uh, and uh, that guy, other guy's going to take a shot at Ool, unfortunately, uh, as well. Uh, I will do... Um... Uh, yeah, I think only the first one. Uh, it's a reaction saber reflect on the first one. Perfect. Um, which I think it's two d six for me right now. Yep. And the sharpshooter is gonna take a shot at Elias. Who shot me? Uh, the guy to the left. Over here. Yep. Okay. Um, will I be a disadvantage to deflect it to this guy since he's within melee? Cause I can only, I only have. 20 feet range. Uh, it would be because it's a ranged force attack, so it would be a uh, disadvantage, unfortunately. Okay, and then um, how do I... There we go. Is it also disadvantage if it's past that 20 feet, right? It is. Yeah, because yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. someone's within 5 feet of you. Alright, I'll just go to the... Um, yeah, go to that guy next to me, I guess, for the attack. Uh, just straight dexterity, or... How does that, or is it a force? It's a force, yeah. So uh, it would be uh, your uh, charisma plus your proficiency. Okay. Ugh, nope. Uh, so oh, nope. Oh, and that to... wasn't a disadvantage, but I'm not going to hit anyway. 
Sweet. Uh, so you're able to block it away from me, but unfortunately not send it back. Uh, the sharpshooter is going to take his shot at Elias. Uh, he doesn't Ooh. get sneak attack, so just uh, that 19 for him. Okay. Still so much. <laughs> Uh, you see uh, the Mandalore as he kind of looks around uh, as his troops go uh, you see this is your fate there's no Revan here the Mandalore will spill your blood uh, and take our home planet back you already know what's going to happen okay right. and oops, Elias is up well, Elias was going to go hit someone, but now has to deal with <laughs> almost dying. Um, let's see here. Crud. Um, going to uh bonus action uh Sarisu because don't want to get absolutely wrecked and. Um, regular action. How's Ool doing? I'm fine. Okay, cool. Then she's gonna heal herself. And four, big old five. Nice. Well, this last gets into her defensive stance and gets some of the healing energy of the force flow through her. Uh, move up a little bit as well. Perfect. Uh, the soldiers are back up again. Uh, all right. Uh, unfortunately, well, with uh, you being at the front of the door and a uh, Naru being invisible, they are going to shoot at you again. Uh, so you see them leveling their blaster rifles. Uh, two shots of the first guy. Two shots, of the second dude. Uh, and the third will be a disadvantage he's in a whole position i think that would be a disadvantage how far is that i don't know that's within 100 feet uh yes yeah, so the uh, third guy goes as well uh you see these guys just kind of flowing into their stance just lighting it up uh all blaster fire but you see they 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 fought jedi before so they're just filling the air with as much fire yeah. as they can uh, and so four of them. Four will oh, hit. Really. Oh. Uh, so you see him just spraying Three, through. Five, seven forty-six. Okay, cool. I had a plan. I hope you don't get down. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the bladesman is up. Uh, Unfortunately, uh, he's going to take uh, slashes at Uh, uh First slash will miss. You see, he kind of goes in thinking to get an easy target after uh, his uh, soldiers blasted it through, but you're still too quick for the man. Uh, <laughs> Second uh. one. Uh, so, lowish damage roll for what it could have been. Uh, so, 19 there. Uh, is Ghoul still up? No, I am not. not. So no. you slash in uh, and take the Athorian down. All right, Ping, you are up. It's lit. We need heals. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I am going to cast uh, play. I think I have to step forward a little bit. I just don't know. Actually, I'm just going to use distant power. So that'll give me the the distance to do it. So it'll be a forty foot cube. Uh, so should be those two on top, and yeah. So it'll hit. So everybody uh, but this guy probably. Everyone, yeah, and the guy in in front there, the blade guy. Oh, yeah, I forgot about the blade guy. All right, um, that's uh, was that wisdom or constitution? That is constitution. Alright, so uh, Mandalore first. Uh, 18. What is my DC? It is 18, so he hit it. So they need 18 or higher. The sharpshooter will fail. He will fail as well. Nice. Uh, yeah, so everybody but Mandalore fails. Uh, how does that look as you're casting that? 
Um, so yeah, as I cast it, it kind of hazes through the room and kind of like sparks up as the force kind of uh, penetrates in, like a mist through the air and kind of affects their minds. So what does that do to them? This plague is one of my favorite spells. It's slow for 5e. Uh, so actually, I'll let you describe it as well. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it, it's one level of slow, so I think it's half speed. Uh, ne- or maybe minus 10 speed. I'll have to look that up. But minus 2 to AC. They have uh, disadvantage on uh, saving throw. Oh, sorry. Minus 2 on saving throws. Deck saving throws. They can't use reactions. They can only use one action or one bonus action, and they can only ever take one attack, either attack or, or melee or ranged. I think that's it. That's and right, that's, yeah. And that's affecting, what, all but the Mandalore? Yeah, I'll put a little blue mark for him, too, so yeah. everybody that's affected by it. Well, that'll, that'll do for me, I think. Fortunately, that was not before they all... <laughs> Bunned... <laughs> Cool down, yeah, yeah. My lord. All right. Uh, anything else for Ping? Uh, nope. That'll be Ping's turn. Right. He's going to hide as far as he can. So, <laughs> Red, you are up. <laughs> okay. Um, this is not great <laughs> for the uh, you know, for first thing. Uh, Ren is going to man. Not a lot of good options here. Hmm. Well, okay. these guys are all. Pull an Isolith like, and close the door. Well, these guys. <laughs> <you know, laughs> just leave okay, me. we started. Uh, unfortunately, we cut through that door, so. <laughs> yeah, that would be. Yeah. Well, I have something in my back pocket. I think Elias can end up he- uh, healing up Ool on her turn. But. Uh, okay. Um, man, no good options for me. Okay, I'm going to, uh, I want to keep that action economy up, so I'm going to go over here and use my, uh, force heal once per long rest on Ool. We're going to do that. Oh, we didn't. Nice. Let me roll that. I think... My yeah, wisdom's super low, but it's okay. I just want to get him up. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's good. Yeah. That. <laughs> All right. Well, there's six HP. <laughs> so, it's a concentration spell. Oh. Okay. Cool. And I have something else to do later, but for now, man, I gotta. I want to use a bonus action, but I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna end up doing. Okay. Uh, do, 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 do. it's not covert. No, man, I really don't know. I know that there is stuff, but it's been a while, so I'm just trying to figure it out. Oh yeah. Um, I don't know. I'm gonna just start carving through that guy next to Ool. Yeah. Ugh. I have to, I have to remember all my stuff. I forgot my responders routine. I forgot my covert style. I'm just it's been a while a since we've had combat. I know. <laughs> yeah, okay. We didn't really have a real combat last session. No, so like I said, it's been a, a while. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, I guess I'm going to... I don't think there's anywhere I can hide here, so I'm just going to hang around. And I'm going to go back here. Right. Can you use uh, reach weapons within five feet? Yeah, as long as it doesn't... Actually, you can always use them. Some of them have disadvantage, but most of the reach weapons are fine to be used within. Yeah, I wanted to know if I could use my Vibro Whip within five feet. Yeah. Okay. Alright, uh... Seeing you, uh, heal the Jedi, uh, you see Mandalore raise his rifle, uh, and go... Such a shame. House Ren had a good reputation before you came along convinced your mother that I had betrayed our people and caused her to attack me. Now you heal a Jedi inside with them. Uh, I'm doing your clan a mercy by putting you down. Uh, and he is going to take two shots at you. Guys, I really don't think he likes us. 
Uh, you'll miss that first one and the second one. Okay, uh, so you... I'm I'm oh, going go to uh, I'm going to use a reaction to do one of my uh, turn fires. So let me put that in here. Ta-da! Sweet. Okay, and I'm going to uh, while he's doing his little rant there, take out my <laughs> hunting rifle, dodge a couple of these shots, and uh, go for it. And I get to add my uh, D6 yeah. to the uh, damage here. Okay, and then I will do this. And roll a D6 to add. Okay. Solid. Uh, yeah, so you see uh, his two blaster bolts flare out. Uh, he tries to shoot between uh, Ool and uh, Elias and just completely misses, uh, impacting it to the ceiling, and you just come through and pop him pretty hard in the chest uh, with your rifle. You see him stagger back a bit. <laughs> I'll be doing all of Mandoa a uh, favor by killing you. You see him just got to turn that T-visor to you and just kind of re retake his aim. All right. Uh, ooh, you're up. <laughs> you're alive. Well, kind of. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going to, uh, as I come out, uh, as the um, healing from Ren uh, comes over and, and brings me out of my uh, unconsciousness, uh, let out uh, some coughs and, and probably some spits on uh, both sides of, of my mouth, and I'll crawl into the room and stand up. Uh, and and just come over and look towards uh, ultimate, yeah. Or devour. Yeah. Devour. Okay. Uh, and and then backing up here, we know that he's a bit of a puppet. Yes. You do. Yeah, because you saw uh, the or who's Darth Nihilus. Darth uh, Nihilus. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. So I'm going to come in, stand up, wipe away uh, blood, spit, and just look at uh, him and say, You Mandalorians are so prideful. Such big heads, big egos. We don't have to be on opposite teams. Yes, Mother Wren has, has said things about uh, who you are and what you're doing. Prove that it's not true. We're here to fight the same evil. Put your, put your rifle alongside our saber, my saber. And let's take down your puppet master. No, he might just try to kill you more. Probably, but... <laughs> yeah. uh, give me a persuasion check with a uh, disadvantage. It's not as bad as it could be. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> see uh the mandalore looks pretty unaffected but you you see some of the, the other soldiers look a little confused uh especially uh -huh. the same puppet master uh uh and then uh, kind of the fight against the same darkness uh you see especially uh so the one that just got slowed over here it looks a little little shaken by that uh but you hear a mandalore kind of shake his head and go your, your jedi tricks won't work they know that I am the pride of Mandalore, that I will hold our people's future on my back and get us back our home planet. Okay, that's my turn. Perfect. All right, uh, I, I guess I will, just because, I'll throw yeah. uh, a channel of force into myself. Or, yeah, lend aid. Sweet. But yeah. Yeah, Noro, you are up. If you would have just stayed where you were, I could have just went to town on this dude. Well, I... no, 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 no. Wait, I'm, I'm, I'm already stuck. Still, never mind. We're good. I'm gonna uh sneak. I'm gonna move five feet over here. 
and I'm going to just start carving this dude up. Sweet. Do you have advantage on your first attack? So I get that sneak attack. So two sh strikes with my Shoto Blade. Wait, that's with advantage. I'm yep. bad with that. Unfortunately, that will miss him. Okay. I still get another one. Okay, that'll hit. Do it. No, uh, I'm... You, you just, oh, you just right. regular camouflage, so unfortunately, that will miss as well. Uh, okay. You get that first one because you're coming out of invisibility, uh, but that second one, he, he does see you there. So you see that first one slash uh, just bounce off of his shield. Uh, the second one, he just dodges aside. Okay, I'm going to... I don't know, use my bonus action to get uh, extra attack with my vibro whip. Okay. Uh, and that's 18? I... Uh, 18 will just hit. Okay. I'm going to use um, deflection to add 2 to my AC. So I should okay. be AC 14 now. Nice. So, yay. Vibro damage, eight. Um, I don't have advantage, so I don't get sneak attack. So, so it's max just damage, damage. At least, uh, So yeah, you just gotta whip in and find a, a path past his large shield and just slash into him with the whip, kind of cutting a small trail of blood on him. Yeah, that's nice. Right. I regret this immediately. I do. <laughs> All of it. <laughs> All right, I, th I thought you had something crazy plan with the invisibility. I, I honestly, if, 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 like, if he stands next to him, I and uh, I can get sneak attack on all hit on any hit, um, not once per turn, but I can get sneak attack. So I could do that. I could do double hit, and I could do sneak attack. Um, and I was. <laughs> uh, well, the sharpshooter is up. Uh, he is going to uh, take two shots at you, Noru. Uh, so you see him lifting that hunting rifle, uh, just aiming down the line, uh, and he's going to let two shots rip. I'm not going to look. I'm not going to look. Uh, and he's going to do a sharpshooter on the second. Um, does that guy have plague on him? Oh, yeah, he does have plague. So he just does the first attack. Uh, yeah, so luckily you don't have to get that sharpshooter one, which would have been nasty. Uh, so, uh, 17 damage on the first one, uh, and that is a con save, see if he can break through. Uh, he doesn't, so you see him kind of almost moving in slow motion, uh, his muscles fighting against him as he tries to line up the shot. Wait, uh, he gets that doesn't, first he, one. doesn't he get the sneak attack? Uh, is there somebody next to him? Yeah, oh, yeah, he's right, right next, next to his to buddy. Me. Yeah, so he take that fourth oh. full damage, uh. So, uh, 31 damage on that one. Oof. Okay. <laughs> uh, 31. Okay. See, he's going to lower his rifle afterwards as he tries to fight through the plague. Alright, uh, Elias is up. Hello. Going to, uh, lend aid at pool. Uh, with the bonus action, which is just a 7 and uh, going to use my regular action to hit this dude over here. Okay. Or very much try to. <laughs> is... Hey. There you go, that hits. And a big three. <laughs> <laughs> Better than nothing. Sweet. So you see she gets a small blade past the shield. Uh, it's gonna a small cut on the guy's armor. <laughs> Alright, uh, so most of these guys are slowed. Uh, one's going to take his shot at Noru. Uh, two are going to take the shot at Elias. Uh, and the healthy guy is going to try to take his shot. Uh, he's going to take his shot. Uh, one at Wool and one at Noru. So Elias first. So two over here this way. You see the two of the slowed soldiers. Uh, try to make their blast. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> both will hit. Yep. Uh, going down. 
So for know. 17 uh, damage, uh, the other two uh, take the shots at Nora. <laughs> they win, unfortunately. Uh, and then uh, what do? Why do I bother with deflection? It's just like shoot me, please. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, 21 to, uh, Nordor, uh, and, oof, 19 to Oval. <laughs> uh, the very last attack is against me, uh, the 19 to hit? 19. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, uh, just one shot to me, right? Just one shot to okay. you, yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna, um, reflect that. Alright. Nice. Good call. Alright, shave Nordor. off eight off of one of those. Jeez. Sure. Alright, so you both get your sabers up and take a little bit of the heat off the blast, uh, but definitely feel those coming at you. Alright, that's the soldier's turn. I'm not going to do plague for these other guys. Uh, failure. Uh, the one up top uh, succeeds. And then for the sharp, or sharpshooter it went. So uh, one of them has broken out of their plague. All right, uh, the bladesman is up. Uh, he is going to make a one shot at Elias, one at Nora. Uh, so Elias, Nora, so you see him kind of <laughs> slash one Elias way and then try now. to heave over and slash the other. Uh, he misses Nora, but uh, he does hit uh, Elias with a nasty slash of his fiber blade and uh, sends her cr uh, crumbling to the ground. Alright, Ping, you are up. Oh, man. Um, so this is not looking great. No. <laughs> so, um, if you use your mind tricks on this big dumb brute, I would really appreciate it. Yeah, and I drop plague. Um, oh, so that's your concentration? Yeah. So, uh, you know, I think I'm just going to do this. Uh, <laughs> I am seeing the team uh, just getting whooped. I don't know a better des description besides <laughs> that. Yeah. And I am going to cast uh, Darkness. And I think it's a 15-foot area. So it should cover this hallway. Nice. Or, what was it? 15? It might be 15 foot radius. Yeah, so 15 foot radius. Sorry, so it'll be bigger. But I'll cover that hallway uh, with darkness. And that means I'll drop plague. Perfect. So you cover that in darkness. So uh, the good and the bad. Uh, so people can't see in to shoot you guys because uh, that blocks their view. Uh, but you guys can't see to shoot out. But uh, that's to give you uh, a bit of time to hopefully uh, get a little bit of a respite there. Times can I manifest my ideal? All right, uh, Ren, you are up. Yeah. Well, I the thing I was going to do. Uh, just got negated here, so we're gonna figure something else out. Basically, just clo close another door on you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> yeah, okay. you would have heard Ping say, maybe we should leave. <laughs> <laughs> to where? <laughs> okay. Going to. Let me. Hold on. I'm trying to remember how to do these things. I got a trauma kit I want to use. Uh, if that helps at all. I don't know what it does, though. Oh, uh, stabilizes. Okay, just making sure. Uh, yeah. I mean, assuming I can, like, you know, go and just try and cautiously walk forward until I hit an Elias, you know. I know she was right in front of me and on the ground, so I figured I can do something. Yeah, so you kind of knew where position was before, so you can kind of fly blind uh, and get that trauma kit set up on her if that's what you're going for. Yeah, that's what I'll do. All right, perfect. Uh, so you uh, stabilize her. She's no longer uh, making death saves, but she still is unconscious. 
sorry. Okay, um, yeah, and I think that, uh, otherwise I'm just going to, I don't know if this is necessary, but I'll use my bonus action to hide. Just to extra make sure. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you a stealth check with advantage, uh, okay. just to make sure nobody can hear you at all. Yeah, um, we're going to advantage and stealth check. Nice. Uh, yeah, so you get fairly confident that the big group did not hear you move in at all. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, so Mandalore, uh, you see, he goes uh, Jedi tricks, uh, hiding in the darkness. So you all came in here so big and bold, ready to fight. Uh, come out, come out. Uh, and he's going to hold his action. Uh, and oh, you are up. I'm gonna walk forward, come out of the darkness. Okay. And deactivate my saber when I walk out. Assuming that it was it was up. Um I guess if he, is he holding an action. That's all right. So if you Walks deactivate out your... in front of the firing line, like, oh. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you deactivate your saber, he'll give you some space to talk if uh, you want to say something. And, um. Just kind of try again and, you know, deactivate the saber, uh, hitch it to my, my waist, and say. How is it you can hate the Jedi but be aligned with with our opposites? We're not much we're not much of a difference. It's just a matter of perspective on on the force. You see among us that Mandalorians and Jedi have worked together. Swallow your pride. Let us go after a common enemy. And I'll just yeah, put my nice. hands like out, like open. Perfect. Uh, give me a persuasion check at regular. Oh! Solid. Uh, so you see uh, the three uh, just kind of soldier looking dudes. Uh, they kind of see him hesitate a bit uh, and they look over uh, at the devourer and go are, you, are they creeping right? Are you are you, you truly a, a pawn to the Sith? Uh, you see kind of the devourer goes stop this foolishness, let's shoot the Jedi uh, and you see uh, the other soldiers say handle your own work if you're so big and bad you're the devourer devour the Jedi on your own Oh, oh. Uh, you, you see uh, the three soldiers kind of stand down. So I'm going to put that. Actually, I'm going to do great for them. Uh, they're not helping you. They're not harming you. That's all, that's all we need. <laughs> we need 100%. Uh, so you see them kind of just uh, lower their rifles. Uh, you see they're just kind of they're watching the exchange go through. Uh, and the devourer goes, you got to see a little nervous. It's going to get to his voice. Griffin traders. I'm surrounded by Griffin traders. All right, I'll body the Jedi, uh, and I'll body you guys too. Uh, nothing <laughs> stands in the way of the Devourer. <laughs> Not sure they're gonna like that too much. <laughs> no, no, uh, no, I'm glad the darkness is up because they're gonna be very angry at what I. I am going to. Mm -mm, I'm mad. Mm, big mad. <laughs> I'll just kind of go into a. Um, I'm just gonna like. You know, cross leg on the floor, going to med meditation actually at that as well. So, damn, that's right. that ass as hell. <laughs> <laughs> Solid, uh, so you convinced uh, the three guys. Uh, you see them standing down. Uh, the 
can't really see how the uh, bladesman's reacting. The sharpshooter looked looks kind of has it there, but looks like he is still kind of fighting along with Mandalore uh, for the moment. Uh, Noru, you're up. Violence was never an option. <laughs> <laughs> Or a piece of violence. I was going to say, <laughs> violence is never an option. Violence is the only option. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so, again, with the ideal of the hunter. Uh, so, I can see him. He cannot see me. I have advantage on my attacks. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to fully take advantage of that. So, two attacks with my Shoto. <laughs> there you go. There we go. Eight damage with the sneak attack. And I'm going to use a force point to cast double strike. There we go. I did some damage. I did some. I'm not using my bow, guys. This is what happens. <laughs> Alright, uh, use your bonus action. Oh, you bonus action to use that. All right, so as you yeah. lay into it with uh, the Shoto, uh, you get a solid cut off on that last strike. Uh, the sharpshooter is up. I think this is the most times I've missed. Can you draw with the ruler without going to the ruler tool? Isn't there like a quick? Is there? Because like, that'd be sweet if there was. I don't no, think so. No, that's on. Boundary. I think I'm just, yeah, it's okay. just. It's just key. Uh, All right. Uh. And you see the, uh, you're kneeling. I caught that. So, yeah, you're kind of prone there. Uh, you see the sharpshooter, uh, raise his rifle, go, I'll deal with the Jedi for you, man, alone. Uh, it takes two shots at Wool. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, 17, oh, 2021. Yes. Uh, it's, uh, so the, we'll hit. Does the first one hit you? What's your AC again? 16. 16. Oof. Hey. Uh, oh. So, I uh, don't know why that doubled up on that. Uh, it's not a natural one. It's not a crit. Either. Yeah. Oh, so, weird. I don't know. Well, I, I'll uh, reflect. Well, yeah, whatever. Just for flavor, I guess I'll reflect. Did you have Cerise on, or did you do Cerise? No, no, you, no yeah, I, I, I should yeah. have. I didn't go into the, it. It wouldn't have mattered with that amount of damage. Yeah, unless if you have your lightsaber down. Actually, that's true. I I deactivated my light, lightsaber, so. Oh, you did, yeah. That doesn't matter. So yeah, I mean that's fast, thirty-one. That fast. Definitely down. So you see, sharpshooter kind of pulls up. Uh, it takes uh, aim at the kneeling ghoul, uh, and you see him blast into the Athorian. Uh, and you see, uh, hear some of the Mandalorian soldiers go, uh, that was a bad play. Uh, you shouldn't have interfered uh, as uh, the sharpshooter lowers his rifle. Uh, Elias is stable. Uh, the Mandalorian yep. soldiers are no longer getting involved. Uh, Blades... <laughs> Uh, Bladesman is in the darkness. Uh, he is going to try to uh, hit Noru, but he will have disadvantage on his strikes. So that's what's with disadvantage. Uh, so I think that misses. That hits. Oh, it hits. All right. Uh, unfortunately, uh, his two strikes will hit. Uh, so you see him cut in and Hoodoo. take down to the ground. Uh, Ping, you are up. You there, Ping? Zoom's muted. Yeah, yeah sorry muted. about that. I was, I was muted. Um, Jeez. So... I know. <laughs> Man, this fight is going terrible. It's all right. Oh. Uh, let me see. So, super short range on that. Yeah, I guess I will leave the darkness in place. Um, and so I, I'm guessing I kind of have an idea he's like still in front of me just from the noise. 
Uh, so I will just do a uh, force push. So I'm not going to do something that targets him. I don't think that would be in flavor, but I'll just find some stuff on the ground and throw it straight in front of me and try to hit this guy with it. So you uh, switch bar are you casting? Uh, force push. Force push. Wait. Yep. No, I have one health point. Okay, uh, give me a perception check. Alright. Forgot about my second part. Oh, nice. Hey. Solid. Uh, yeah, so you can send that blind to him. Does he have to make a save, dexterity saving throw? Uh, he will make that with disadvantage. Yeah, so he fails. Uh, no. So what are you throwing at him? Um, so it would have been uh, maybe like a chunk on the wall or something uh, that's kind of loose. Um, and just toss it out at him. Maybe like a like a handle or something that's kind of on the, the railing on the wall. Sweet, you bash it to me. Uh, what the griff was that? Uh, as the, uh, he gets bashed in the head uh, while in magical darkness. Uh, Rin, uh, you are up. Yeah, all my plans have just gone. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Ren is going to put a hand out and just start feeling along the wall here. And uh, pop out. Nice. And it's going to, you know, get that dude as best as she can. <laughs> Come on. All right, with the ding. Let me go. That'll hit. And uh, hit the image. Solid. Nice. And then same thing. Yeah. Same thing without the modifiers. And nice. More damage. <sighs> Solid hit there, man. Just chunking away at him, seeing him. You know, all the other ones, like, I imagine are just sort of, like, putting their... Or have their like blaster a little bit away, so I'm like, no, no, no. <laughs> yeah, just he's, going for it. He's looking pretty bloody after that. So you just gotta pop out and smash him twice. Uh, just he's looking a little off kilter. Uh, he's definitely hurt from that. Okay. Um, and I'm going to uh, just use my bonus action here to uh, reload. Is that all? Can't you just move back into the darkness? Can I? Yeah. Because you can. That impose anything bad? I mean, unless you <laughs> yeah. have a thirty feet, like. I don't think that's an issue, right? No, you, you can move back into the darkness if you want. Yeah. Okay, that will do that. We can literally use it to just like. Because I know <laughs> jumping in and out of cover can be can be tricky, which is why I was like. Eh. Uh, yeah. So you. You see Mandalore just getting increasingly frustrated. Uh, he yells at one of the soldiers. All right, you, he looks at the one on the left. Uh, you traitor, uh, if you do not start fighting them now, I will shoot you myself. Uh, you see the soldier does not budge. Uh, he's actually going to pull out his blaster rifle and oh, shot the soldier. What a gamer move. <laughs> uh, so you see him take two shots at the soldier. That's weird. Damage. Is it blank no. Is it blank? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I was like, wow. Uh, it's done. Okay. That's really weird. Uh, you have an incinerator rifle? What? <laughs> yeah, he's got an incinerator rifle. Uh, just you reduce them to nothing. <laughs> Glad you didn't get hit by that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, there would be nothing to bring back. Except apparently it can't do damage. It's got damage of the thing, but it's not doing damage. You know, I think he hit... He hit... No, no, he hasn't hit me to put me down with that, does he? Uh, yeah, no, he hasn't hit you. I think that was no, uh, the sniper that rifle that hit you. Oh, I'll just roll that manually. That's weird. I definitely would have remembered if he vaporized you in front of my <laughs> Well, just I never did the, the con series, yeah, yeah, yeah. but yeah. Uh, so, uh, 17 on the first shot. I don't feel so good, Mr. Stark. <laughs> uh, that is a, more than enough to take that guy down and see if he gets incinerated. 
uh, does not get incinerated, but you do see uh, he pulls out the rifle, uh, takes aim at his own troop, uh, and you see him glare and, uh, into it, just burning through the Beskar arm, uh, and sends that guy crashing down. Uh, and you hear him yell out, yeah, that's all you want, traders want the same, get back to it, kill these Jedi, and we'll forget this ever happened. All right, ooh, you're up. Uh, make a uh, death saving throw. I also haven't been doing. Oh yeah, the, the wounds as well. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Where are you at? Nice. I uh, give a constitution saving throw as well. Uh, nice. Uh, so I think that would pass. We'll say that's your first one for that, just to be easy. Okay. Uh, so it's, you're at zero wounds so far. Is it start um, at ten, right, and then it goes I up? It starts at ten, yeah. And goes up five or By five each yeah. time, yeah. Okay. All right, uh, Nero, you're up. I am determined to do this. <laughs> I'm gonna use my. Uh, is it a bonus action? Yes, I'm gonna use a bonus action to cast Force Focus. So. Okay. Force Focus. So that's two force points and then uh the, adding a d4 damage to each of these attacks mm -hmm. i have advantage on each of these attacks so two hits with my shoto with advantage good see nice. that's all i want that's all i want <laughs> do the damage do the sneak attack do the thing gonna use a force point for the double strike then I'm gonna do the other one. <laughs> My cat is being like, "You're too loud." <laughs> yeah, so you get some solid strikes into the guy. Uh, you could tell he's uh, slowed down. Probably uh, pretty much on his last legs there as you fight Yay. him in the darkness. I think you have one more force focus too because you hit him twice. Uh, but isn't that, I didn't know if that was. Yeah, you get free hit. So. Oh, free hit. Okay. Hey! Nice. Is that finishing? What do you? That does not finish him, but he is looking Dang. rough. Dang it! 10, 13, 11, 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, 11, 12, 13, 11, 12, Leading out, and the rest of you guys are hiding in the darkness. Uh, you see him just scanning through, uh, just levels his rifle uh, at the fray. Uh, Elias is stabilized. Uh, Hanging out. Ooh, roll me a. Hmm. Roll me a performance check. <laughs> How well did you fucking. <laughs> death throttle here. <laughs> uh, so as you sit there, you're sitting there just kind of with that serene Jedi calm, uh, just kind of projecting an outward look of trust and just uh, really kind of just showing them the, your earnesty there. You do sway uh, one of the troops. Uh, and you see him yell, uh, Rip this. That was a, that was a dirty move. Uh, he didn't even have his gun on him. Uh, and you see one of the soldiers is going to take aim uh, at go. the sharpshooter. Sharpshooter, come on. Uh, you see, guy raises blaster rifle, trigger off two blasts, and unfortunately just completely <laughs> no. whip it, just kind of oh, shooting man. up out of the wall behind him. Uh, and you can see, you've got him uh, edge through, and he kind of edges over this way, getting a little bit of distance from the, uh, the Mandalore. All right, the bladesman is up. Uh, you see he's swaying, barely on his feet, but he is going to try to uh, take out uh, poor Noru. Uh, first slash, uh, that'll miss, I think. Uh, awesome. Second will miss as well. So you see him just swing. Actually, what is your AC again? Probably it's not 15. <laughs> <laughs> right. Noru? Noru? Actually, we pull it up in the sheet. It's 14. Oh, oh. Uh, 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 And I don't want to be like, can I use deflection? 
<laughs> uh, harsh, nah. So you see he's swinging wildly, uh, but just pure happenstance, his blade connects. Uh, it takes you to the ground. Uh, give me a constitution saving throw. <sighs> Constitution. We're all dead, and Ping's back there with 4,338 HP. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> what is that? Yeah, what is that? I noticed that too. My health was like that as well. Like 10 hit points or something? Uh, oh, it's probably. 10 hit points, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's 43 out of 38 plus 5. Okay. Oh, yeah, because you guys did something earlier today. That got you. Yeah. Some yeah. extra hit points. These lift gives us 5 to our hit points. Do I need to also make a death saving throw? Uh, not yet, uh, but you, you were able to pass without getting a wound. Still soon. Uh, oh, Ping, you are up. Uh, what are you thinking? Um, so I have no clue what's happening there, but I assume that someone just dropped. Uh, so can I make a perception to, to see if I could tell who it was that just dropped? Oh, sure. Yeah. Um. Ah, uh, you, uh, it's a not too hard to tell you you hear kind of the war of a vibro blade uh slashing in and then you hear kind of a lightly armored person drop to the ground all right and so kind of knowing that i'm gonna uh not griff and then i'm gonna do the same thing i'm gonna try a force push um and try to uh find uh something else actually no i'll just try a feedback i'll throw like uh just psychic energy just out in front of me and try to and I assume, I think, I I'm just going to roll it just because I don't know. Uh, yeah, so that's a save. Oh, so. nice. And it, you don't have to see him, too, so that works really well. I was about to say you wouldn't be able to do it without being able to see him, but that one's just here, so. Uh, sweet, that's intelligence, right? Yep. yep. All right. Isn't Bardic can like, vicious mockery? Nice, and he fails. Uh, so he is barely on his feet. Uh, he's, he's looking pretty rough. Uh, blood flowing from his nose uh, with that psychic assault. All right, and that will be my turn. All right, uh, Ren, you are up. Okay. All right. All right, it's all okay. on you, Ren. Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Gonna. <sighs> so many freaking people are down. I don't have enough to heal them. I'm going to uh, walk out. Hello. And I'm going to. I think that's sort of... technically a circle, so you'd you'd be able to see around that corner a little better. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm gonna look right at him, and um, just like in one of my one of my hands, I have like my little flame launcher. I just point it at uh, the devourer and just let it freaking rip. I'm going to overheat. Oh, nice. All right. Just what I was saving my points for. I'm like, come on. So, sweet. Uh, and I'm using armor. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sweet. So you see, uh, uh, so you light them up with a the flamethrower? Yeah. I'm basically, nice. like, all my bonus actors are just going to be me, like, reapplying it. Like, you know. <laughs> uh, this dude. So you see he's looking pretty cocky as you came out, uh, as you just light it up, uh, you see him just like, like he looks like kind of like jittery uh, as uh, his skin scorches uh, inside the armor. Uh, and he goes, Griffin Trainer, you're going to pay for this. There's more where that's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Yield or we'll keep it coming. And uh, uh, let me do the same thing. I'm going to duck back in and uh, high bonus action to hide. Just keep it going. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Mandalore is uh, uh, getting a little upset. Uh, you see, he's just burning in there, and he is going to try to. He's just gonna run into the darkness. He's like, I'm gonna crip and kill you, Jedi. Uh, and he is diving in there. Makes him make a perception check to see if he notices anybody in there. Oh, and you said you were hiding too. Yeah. Oh, so give me a stealth check with advantage. Cool. Get that for you. Stealth. Just hoping and praying people can hold on. Because <laughs> I got a trauma kit, but... He rolls... Okay, so he, uh, he fails. <laughs> uh, so he is 
just running in there blind. Uh, ooh, uh, roll me another death saving throw. Oh. Uh, one failure, one success. Uh, Noru, same thing. Right back. Uh, one success. Nice. Uh, sharpshooter guy uh, is going to take a shot at the traitor Mando. Uh, he will Shoot. miss. He will miss twice. Yeah. <laughs> so you, see, uh, you see, even the sharpshooter is a bit conflicted as he aims down the, his barrel at the, his kind of uh, the person he called a comrade earlier today, and both shots just go wide. Uh, the bullets just embedding into the, uh, the, the the metal behind him. Let's go. Uh, uh, Elias is uh, still stabilized. So the Mando soldier is going to take his second crack uh, at shooting the sharpshooter, uh, and he will hit and crit. Nice. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, so you see him uh, as his former buddy tried to uh, shoot him, but could not. He did not have that same regard. Uh, he <laughs> fires a quick ray of blast, and you see him gun down the sharpshooter. Let's go. Alright, uh, the Blazeman, oh, he is still up. Uh... Yeah. He's hanging out. <laughs> Goes for man shoot. He's going to make a perception check. Uh, he does not have skill in it, so I'll just roll a wisdom save. Uh, okay, so he is going to stumble his way out of the fog. Alright, he is going to take two slashes at you, Bing. Uh, so you see, first he raises his blade up and he just completely whiffs it, uh, slashes down, and whiffs it again. Wait, what uh, are those? What are... Oh, man. <laughs> Actually, Ping, what is your AC? Is your AC 11? Uh, I have uh, the the spell that makes it higher, so it's 14. Oh, perfect. All right. Sweet. Otherwise, that would hit me, yeah. Yeah, I was worried for a second. I'm like, oh, no, <laughs> this could go really bad. Uh, but luckily, uh, luckily, he had the force power up. Uh, and using that force shield, you're able to or, uh, battle meditate or battle uh, precog. You're able to uh, avoid those blades. Uh, and you are up, Bing. All right. Uh, so at this point, uh, I know Noru's down because this guy just came stumbling at me. I haven't seen Ool. Uh, there's way too much blaster fire going on for it just to be uh, Ren firing, uh, so I am going to drop uh, darkness. Hey! Oh, so, here we are. <laughs> so, and then I go, oh crap. <laughs> <laughs> Bodies yep. everywhere. <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, and I will... Oh jeez. <laughs> The um, guy in front of you is is nearly down. He's, he's yeah. pretty close, so keep that in mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Honestly. so I will uh, feedback, and I'll duel it. Uh, so I'll use it on both the Mando and the guy in front of me. Okay. Uh, and... He will fail, and luckily, just enough to finish him. Uh, finish the blaze. But how's yeah. that take him down? Uh, so you just kind of see the uh, the feedback just kind of break his mind, and you see blood start to come out of his ears, and he just collapses. Where his saves not rolling right? Uh, that is weird. Uh, he fails too, but he should have had a bigger modifier to that. I think his whole block is like messed up somehow. Uh, but he will fail as well. <laughs> uh, does. So you see the the blades will crumble to the ground uh, at the psychic assault. Uh, and you guys are left with uh, just Mandalore now. Uh, Ren, you are up. Okay. Um, oh, before we go, can you, a trauma kit, does it take an action to use on someone else? Uh, it does. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to... Oh, man, how's he looking right now? Oh, Mandalore? Yeah. Uh, he's looking alright. Okay, I'm gonna use my bonus action to do another 2d8 as his armor just goes red and hot 
<laughs> Solid. Oh. Okay. And oh man. Okay, I can't leave Ool. Ren wouldn't leave Ool. It's going to use her action to trauma kid him. Alright. Uh, so you're able to stabilize Ool. I uh, really wanted to just go straight forward and get him, but. <laughs> You see the the bad lord is like, ah, oh, you, you guys have finally stopped your tricks. Uh, he is going to take a couple steps back. Uh, he's going to turn his rifle on you, Ren. Get some. So the first one has disadvantage. Uh, I think they both do to the overheat. Oh, nice. Yeah. <laughs> I like that even more. <laughs> Yeah. Oops, that's a disadvantage. Con saves here too. Unfortunately, <laughs> I will hit. Uh, in second. That's weird. I got disadvantage. This block is broken somehow. Uh, second will miss. Yay. Okay. Uh, um, roll damage. This time still won't roll damage. All right. Uh, yeah. So uh, he's good. You see him kind of level his blaster, uh, trying to fight against the, his armor burning against him. Uh, first shot's able to connect, but the second shot just goes completely yeah. wide. Okay. Gonna make a con save. I feel like it's not gonna go great, but you know. It's gonna be the DC are. ten. Oh, that was nice. a disadvantage, but that's still a twelve. Yeah. Okay. Sweet. And then I'm gonna use my reaction to use. Uh, another superiority dice. I have one left, yeah. and going to shoot out at him with the bullet or the hunting rifle. I'm keeping track of that ammo too. BT dubs. I got it on my sheet. So, gonna try and get him with it. Nice. And hunting rifle. And I'll add a D6. Oh nope. <laughs> no, I won't. Oh no. <laughs> uh, so. Okay. Fire back at him, but unfortunately the shot goes uh, a bit wide uh, as it approaches Mandalore. Uh, so, oh, you have been stabilized, uh, so you are no longer making death saving throws. I wish I could uh, just straight heal you, but I cannot. <laughs> Sorry. Noru, uh, you got two successes now, Noru. Nice. Uh, Elias is stabilized. The sharpshooter yep. is dead. Uh, Bladesman is dead now too. Uh, so soldier is up. Uh, he is going to. Uh, trying to get a little space with the Mandalore, and he's going to take two shots at the Mandalore. Uh, and he goes, I, I can't believe you are a traitor. Uh, we followed you. Uh, and his bad aim returns. Uh, and uh, both those shots uh, go completely wide uh, as they shoot towards uh, the Mandalore. Ping, you are up. All right, so I actually do have a med kit, so I guess I should use that. Yeah. Uh, so I'll run up and use it. <laughs> So, uh, what is the med kit? Is it just the D4? Or it's uh, your uh, hit die. So a hit die plus con. Okay. I thought I had a med kit for a second, but it was a mess or kit. I was it, like, ah. It would be the players that you're healing. Who are you healing, Pete? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. so Noru. Yeah, okay. not yours. So yeah. Noru. Yeah, Noru roll a yeah. hit die. Yeah. Nice. Nice. And as Noru comes back to consciousness, I'm just going to let him know you owe me a medkit. <laughs> He's going to invoice you for it. <laughs> I, I give him my medkit. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, that's a ping. Uh, gets Noru back up and into the fight. Uh, Ren, you are up. Okay. Um. So I only have one shot in my hunting rifle. I'm currently have my bonus action using stuff. I can drop that and pull the blaster carbine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, as long as sure. I don't like stow. Okay, I'm just making sure. Okay, I drop it and uh, pull out the carbine. Can I shoot and then drop it and then use the carbine? I feel like that's wacky. No, you could do that. Okay. Yeah, uh, just as long as you have a kiss, you can, as long as you drop it to the ground, that's a free action, yeah. optic interaction draw. Yeah, that's good. Okay, cool. So I'm going to first try and hit him uh, with the hunting rifle. I just want to get all my stuff. Oh, man. Just not doing well with this, huh? Right. And then huh. we will. Whoa. Hello, blaster. little one. Blaster carbine. Man. And then give me a sec here, because again, it's being just weird. Blaster 
sharpens it. Yeah, the whole twenty is just being weird. Like my whole mandolin block is not rolling right. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but we're gonna figure it out. Okay, and we're going to blast our carbine him. I nice, that's that better. Yep. Yeah. And then use the bonus action to roll the two d eight here. All right. Don't forget your ranger's quarry too. Oh yeah. Let me grab that. Uh, Ranger's Quarry is a D6 right now, so... Solid. Uh, so you blasted two of them, uh, see kind of as the armor is burning, you're starting to smell the, a little bit of burnt flesh coming out from the Beskar Garm. Uh, he's looking, he's looking a little bloody, but uh, still holding up pretty well. <laughs> I'll say, um, Yield Sith Spawn will rather die than, uh, <clears throat> succumb to your forces, and I don't see us dying very soon. See, he just looks around, just grumbling, uh, and he pulls out his blaster rifle, or disintegration rifle, and is going to take aim at the Mandalorian helping you guys. Uh, and he basically just shakes his head and goes, All traitors, uh, you will die first, uh, and takes a blast at that guy, uh, and hopefully it'll roll damage. Uh, he will miss, uh, and the second attack as Let's well. Let's go! Uh, so you see him just blasting, and this poor Mandalorian soldier is just dodging and ducking, and uh, bolts are flying around around him. It's uh, no use. Ooh, you are up. Oh, wait, ooh, you are Oof. still down, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, give me a death... Actually, no, you're back up, yeah, so real, you're, you're up yes. for real. Yes. Sorry, I'm trying to balance Cat. Ugh. Sorry again, I can't to... bring you up for real Zizul. <laughs> okay. One med, med kit. Okay, so um, part of how how close is he to being dead? He's uh, bloodied. Bloodied, yeah. He's bloodied. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Uh, I'm gonna use an action to cast Force Blur. Actually, you know what, Ping? You cannot have my med kit. Is is it isn't it a is it an action or a bonus action to use a med kit on someone else? Action to use on somebody else. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Um one hour and I wake up. Hey. <laughs> So you're about to uh, bring Ul back up? Well, I I could I could do that, but You could bring Elias up. Elias might be able to bring Ul up too. Yeah. Does Elias better. have healing? Yeah, she's oh, got yeah. Healing. <laughs> I don't know if she has more, but she at one point she's got uh, some lend aid to super all good. If I engage him in melee, it would give him disadvantage using range, right? That's right. But he already has a disadvantage right now due to uh, uh, <laughs> red, yeah, with uh, the okay. heat of armor. Hello. Right. I, I am going to use my action to... Oh, 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 hello. Hold on. I, um, I'm i going to use my action to use the... The, the, the... the bed pack? Actually, Maybe. no. I'm going to use it on Ool... Um, sorry. <laughs> well, uh, I'll give you a little hit for this one. Elias goes next, so you use it here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough, fair enough, yeah, fair enough. I don't want to tell you what to do, but I'm also like... <laughs> I'm going to use my action to do that, and then I'm going to use my uh, bonus action to cast... Uh... <sighs> Shoot, man. Arr! Uh, I'm not able to do any attacks with my bonus action. Probably uh, not. So uh, usually, most of your bonus actions are usually more for uh, transportation type spells. If you got any powers like that. I mean, I could use force focus again, <laughs> so that way I have it for the next round. <laughs> sure, if you'd like to. So definitely, so you can give the med pack to Elias and cast force focus. Uh, and then Elias uh, is up. Hey. Okay. <laughs> uh, going to. Go up to Ul, use 
last point here for uh let's see heal and then bonus action to Sarisu. Uh, whoo, oh, there nice. you go. Sweet, solid heal there. So he, Elias springs back to life and lifts <laughs> over uh, to Ul and uh, uses the last remaining bit of her force to bring the, uh, the Authorian back to consciousness. Uh, the Mandalorian soldier is going to continue his lucky life. Uh, is going to take two shots at uh, Mandalore uh, and miss. I am hit. Uh, hey. so you see him and a solid Ooh. hit too. Uh, <laughs> you see him just blasting away at the Mandalorian uh, as his uh, armor burns. Alright, sure Bing, you're up. Time. He's not. He's not. <laughs> so, I guess seeing everyone, you know, healing each other inspires me. Is this guy <laughs> still alive? Yeah, he's... No, uh, that he, guy's dead. He's dead, dead, yeah. He's dead. Oh, he's like dead, dead, okay. Yeah. He got disintegrated. <laughs> yeah. Um, then I will, uh, actually just kind of hit... What, what do I have left here? Uh, yeah, I'll just do just a force push. Uh, so I'll just try to, to find something on the ground. Uh, and just chuck it at him. <laughs> uh, does uh, heat metal? Does it give just disadvantage to attacks or is it saves too? Um, let's double check. Uh, do, 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 overheat. So it should not be wisdom. It is. It says ability checks. It has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. I'll oh. use the first roll for that. Uh, Wiz and he will fail that. So how much is that? Four damage. Uh, all right. Uh, so, so you smash into him with some debris. Uh, he's, uh, he's still fine. He's still up, uh, but he is definitely looking rough now. Uh, Ren, you are up. <clears throat> all right. She's going to first use the bonus action for the to the eight and uh, start just taking shots at him and says um uh just yield damn you and going to bonk and without those going to do another one that's not gonna hit uh yeah no i was looking to see if i could do something else but nope that's it just taking more shots uh, you blast into him. Uh, he's still standing, uh, but you do see uh, as uh, he comes around, he looks and sees uh, surrounded by both his own men uh, as well as you guys. Uh, you see him drop his blaster rifle. Uh, you do see him tap uh, the side of his head, though. Uh, and it's quiet for a moment uh, before he says, All right, fine. Y you got me. What do you want? Well, <laughs> well, first that you his turn? start with your mother. Yeah, that's his turn. So, oh, you are up. Okay. Uh, from the ground, uh, I first to my knees, and then I come up, pull off my lightsaber on my waist, and I ignite that thing, <laughs> and I look over and say, "You don't get to ask questions anymore." You took too long, and I'm gonna rush forward and go to town. <laughs> nice. Damn. Yeah, go for it. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> oh. Oh. One more. Oh! oh what? No. At the what? Cinematic this moments. Fucking game. Oh. Not, this, not even this game. Fucking rolled twenty. Yeah, that's oh. rough, man. <laughs> what does rule twenty hate us today? It's just in a weird mood today. <laughs> mm -hmm. Really? Uh, so you come in, slash, uh, the Mandalore is able to uh, unfortunately evade the blows. Uh, and you hear, see him look to his uh, fellow fallen, or his other soldiers. See, this is how the Jedi treat us. I surrendered, and they come at me with blades. Uh, Nora, hey, you're up. I didn't do anything. I will, uh, <laughs> bo I will bonus action into... Um... 
Surisu. Surisu. Nice. Jeez. <clears throat> As I said, uh, peace was uh, was never an option. Uh, with my force focus and Ool next to him, I'll be able to get off my sneak attack and my force focus. And I still got a little bit in the tank. Sweet, bro, your so tanks. I'm gonna charge up on him and go to town. Normal premium Shoto Saber. There we go. Nice one. There Two. we go. And then I'm gonna use my uh, Vibro Whip. Does that hit? Unfortunately, that will miss, uh, but the first two hit. Okay, so the nine with sneak attack. Force oh. focus. I'm gonna use double strike. Okay. Then the second hit with force focus. Okay. Nice. Uh, he is bleeding barely on his feet. Nice. 25. Alright, Elias is up. Great. I mean, if he's right there, then, you know. <laughs> Elias going for the kill. Elias <laughs> gonna get the kill steal. Come on. Force imbuement. And trying to double show to here. And please. Oh gosh, every time. <laughs> Why? <sighs> Elias every just time. didn't have it in her to uh, kill a surrendering man. Uh, you see the the slash just goes wide. <laughs> the other guys choose to turn on us. That's okay. <laughs> Figure it out. Uh, you see the, the two Mandalorian soldiers go. Uh, they kind of level their rifles and said, "He surrendered." He, he gave up. Uh, just... Hey man, I'm not doing anything. You Mandalorians <laughs> ha know nothing of honor. So let's not, <laughs> let's get things straight, all right? Get things straight. I think they all need to roll perception checks for his little uh, bibu. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, what about that? <laughs> this is no true surrender. You see, uh, the soul is like, just, just back off him, guys. Like, you proved your point, you beat him, uh, make him your prisoner, but don't take him down. Uh, and you see them kind of hold their actions as they, they raise their blaster rifles up. Ping, you're up. Uh, so Ping is going to kind of see the, the chaos here and uh, understand Ul's rage, uh, but he's just going to say, enough, and I'm going to cast Malazia. Uh, well, Lazi is a whiz, right? Yep, it is. Right. Are you casting that on me? <laughs> <laughs> that was my next choice. <laughs> uh, so that, uh, you give it 18, right? 18. Yeah, that knocks him to the ground. Uh, so you see he's overcome. Oh, wait, does it knock him to the ground? Just incapacitated. Uh, no, he's knocks him to the ground, too. Yeah, so you see him fall yeah. and just try to stand up, uh, but it's just completely disoriented by the force power. And then, uh, and then I'm just going to go, enough. It's over. We yeah, won. we're good. All right. Uh, anything Red's doing? Uh, is there a uh, any consoles in the room? Because she wants to try and blast it out on the ship here. Definitely. So yeah, so yeah, that counts in the back of the room. Uh, and so if, you, if you're good there, or is anybody else uh, continuing to slash up Mandalore? Or what, what's somebody else thinking? As he tempting as it might be, as tempting as it... Well, is he incapacitated or is he just unable to get up? He can break out of it if we don't yeah. like restrain him. But I'm just yeah. saying if you really want an advantage to finish him, you could just stab him. I will. What, Ren, are you doing anything? I think I'm a turn order. So here for a I think I think him dying would make him a martyr. So I think it might be better for us to just leave him as yeah. an example. Ren is going to say, "Okay, let's. You know, we can deal with him later. For now, let's warn it, or let's show everyone who he really is." Um, she sort of motions to her wristband, and 
she also points to the other two and says, he did something with his helmet, and I have no idea what that was, but, you know. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna, I was gonna reach down and, and pull his helmet off, um, and then also, uh, yell out, kind of to Ren, but also to the other, to the guard and say, uh, release, uh, release Ren. Yeah. All right, uh, you see, uh, the guard over there, uh, kind of by the far end of the room goes, fair. Uh, didn't feel good about taking her down anyway. Uh, you see him tap on his wrist pad, uh, and you see the field, uh, go off, uh, and she kind of slumps to the ground. Okay. Well, I'm glad to see mom okay, but rent on a mission. <laughs> <laughs> Sweet. So uh, you, uh, so yes, yeah, you definitely see it. kind of a data pad there. You see it, uh, or kind of a large data terminal there. You see it has like a little array of the fleet uh, surrounding Terrace. Uh, what's uh, what's Ren doing? Yeah, I do Plugging have uh, real quick. Sorry, I have binders uh, apparently, so I throw those on uh, Mandalore. Sweet. Sir. And then, um, and then I would go over to Mother Ren, and uh, if she's if she needs, uh, I would give her a lend aid sweet she is unconscious so uh, if you do lend aid that would bring her back okay uh, back i will up. do that for sure right. so you see her kind of slowly kind of come to uh kind of look up with a, a bit of surprise as she sees you hovering over here goes i guess you did it uh but if not uh thank you never thought i'd say that to a jedi but thank you Yeah. Don't think yeah. of it as uh, saying thank you to a Jedi. Think of it as to a friend. I was going to say to a Jedi. To a Jedi. <laughs> you see, you're going to slowly kind of stand to her feet and say, I, I guess I can think of that. Let's, let's think you've been ally. a good friend. Say ally instead of friend. <laughs> there but you yeah. Go. So, looks like you've been good to my daughter, so at least I can trust you with that. Uh, and she stands up and kind of pats you on the shoulder, friendly, uh, and takes a look around uh, and looks at her in and, what are you doing now? Well, I think that we have a pretty, pretty good access to about just about everything in this, uh, this fleet here. I'm going to try and blast out our, <laughs> the truth. Perfect. Uh, so yeah, no tech roll necessary. Uh, you are able to load that up uh, and blast it out uh, to the rest of the the Mandalorian fleet above Terrace. Uh, Behold, it's... your proof. <laughs> 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 so yeah, you, you start to, like you, the as soon as you blast it out, just numerous things start popping up on the screen. Different hails from the, the ships uh, on the, the rate of the screen. You can also see that some of the ships are even just peeling out uh, and just dipping off to hyperspace. Uh, it looks like just chaos is raining right now. Wonderful. <laughs> well, we have that. And uh, we got our friends to contact as well. Sweet, are you guys gonna reach out uh, to Clan Orda? I mean, I will. If no one else. <laughs> sort of give uh, them yeah. the lowdown, right. so they don't come in here and start blasting people that are gonna, you know, be a little <laughs> bit more accepting of them. <laughs> See, you guys, uh, Signal Clan Ordo, uh, you get uh, kind of a quick uh, response uh, on our way back. Uh, it eventually uh, so takes a couple minutes, so I'm not sure what you guys want to do next, uh, but Clan Ordo is on their way. Stand around all awkwardly. Yeah. <laughs> going to chat up the other two Mandos so, in the room. Um, you guys come here often? <laughs> <laughs> See, the, the two mandos just look super uncomfortable like they're not exactly sure what they should be doing now yeah. <laughs> like, uh, they've got their rifles like uh it's kind of like slung low but they have not uh let go of them yeah they're just really uncomfortable i feel like this campaign has been like no rude trying to like make progress and this entire uh thing dealing with the mandalorians he's just like that's right i hate them i was completely in the right the whole time 
<laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just hanging out. I'll, I'll go check on uh, Mother Dearest also, just to make sure she's, you know, around. <laughs> That's sweet. So she kind of uh, gives you like a friendly nudge on your shoulder. It goes, you did a little better, better than I did. Looks like you were able to take down the Mandalore. Sincerely, not... good job. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. Um, it's not totally down for the count, but I suppose that's Mando's job here. The other Mando's. So robotic. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. <laughs> Thank you, Mother. <laughs> uh, Ping, give me a force check. Oh. All right. And then two assassins come out and kill us. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> like, all right. <sighs> Here comes the puppet master. You do start to feel an intense hunger uh, in your stomach pain. You're not not sure exactly what's going on, uh, but you feel the force just darkening, and you feel hunger coming. Uh, and you kind of look over and see that the Mandalore is just a big cheesy smile on his face. Can I yeah. hit him? I want to hit him. <laughs> I hit him. <laughs> like just with a slap or something? <laughs> just, I don't know. Just wipe it off his face. Are you, are you, uh, are you slapping him or are you hitting him? Hitting him? It is. It is a. I'm. I'm doing. I'm trying to be non-lethal about it. I'm not just gonna like crush him <laughs> right after he's. <laughs> but I. I, I definitely want to like. Oh, no, you want to be smug? Smack. <gasps> Chocolate chip cookie dough. Heck yeah. That was uh, a isn't he weird inca- transition. Isn't he incapacitated? <laughs> <laughs> he is incapacitated still. Yeah. Uh, he hasn't said anything. He just smiled. <laughs> he just, smiled? Uh, smiled. So, wait. I'm going to put his helmet back on. I don't want to look at him. <laughs> and I'm going to put it on backwards. So the group will see that like. I've got um, that in my hand. Uh, right. Ping pulls out a saber and kind of ignites it and kind of starts backing away from the doorway like defensively and he'll just say that uh, Nihilus is en route. Lovely. Well, <laughs> set the ship to uh, collide with the Nihilus and... With what thrusters? <laughs> <laughs> the engine's down, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But we do have friends coming. Set the, <laughs> nice. Set the thing to overload. Take them all. What? I don't. I don't care. <laughs> As you guys are speaking, you do see on the, the tactical screen uh, a star destroyer, Republic model, kind of blast into the area. Uh, it looks to barely be like you see pieces of its deck uh, have been blown off. It looks battle scarred uh, and very similar uh, to the Star Destroyer. It's the same Star Destroyer that you guys saw hover over Dathomir after the ritual. Uh, and you see it is on a beeline course towards your ship. Well, I'm so glad you Mandalorians had such a great time. We freed you from your dictator. Now, enjoy <laughs> enjoy <laughs> Nihilus. Have fun. Perfect. So what are you guys doing? Uh, running. I think that's that's what I'm gonna do. Uh, Turn to Mother, Mother Ren. So yeah, what's uh, y- y- do you have a quickest way out of here? Uh, she knows yes. Yeah, the, uh, no good. Quick way back to the hangar. Uh, if you guys are looking to jump ship. Uh, yeah, I'd say we are. <laughs> I love the hangar hound, but <laughs> death awaits. <laughs> It's uh, be better for the both of us if we leave. <laughs> <laughs> and then passing to the other soldiers, be like, I would sound an evacuation as well. Be like, you guys might want to come too. <laughs> uh, give me a persuasion roll, that thing. Oh, nice. Uh, I think I still have a use. I'll just uh, 21 it. 21 it, 
<laughs> uh, you see, like they looked like they wanted to saw the evacuation or just come with. No, we'll just ride with you guys. Oh, that sounds fun. Uh, and uh, chase after the group as you guys start uh, running down the hallways. Uh, everybody, give me an athletics check as you guys start booking it out of there. Oh, no, my sweet oh, negative. Oh, it's one. gonna be terrible. <laughs> We're so slow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Athletics. Yeah. Athletics. That wasn't a critical fail, by the way. That was a, just a regular one. <laughs> I'm athletic. Catch up to Ping in two strides, and I just grab him by the back of his hood and his cape. Hey, in our... <laughs> nice. Um, fortunately, you guys, uh, as a group with Ool uh, assisting Ping and kind of getting to move on with uh, the uh, the Claudite, you guys are able to make it pretty quickly uh, out to the hangar. Uh, as you guys make it out there, you do feel the ship almost buck. Uh, like, it's just like, just shake. Like, something just clashed into it. Uh, you just kind of feel a bit of a rumble uh, as you guys make it to the hangar. Uh, throw it over there. Uh, you see the, the ship's, uh, the major ship uh, is already there. Uh, you guys are kind of running towards it. Uh, but you do feel kind of a deepening darkness, uh, and you guys see just out of the corner of your eye uh, before you make it onto the ship, uh, Nihilus. Uh, you see a man with a, or not really a man even, just a, a cloaked figure uh, with a ornate mask uh, walk through uh, the ship, uh, almost just debris and things streaming past him as you see uh, the area that he's walking through has been open to the vacuum uh, but he seems pretty unfazed uh, but fortunately you guys are able to make it to the ship uh, what do you guys do? you run dude <laughs> You see Ren, uh, or May Ren, I should say, uh, jumps into uh, kind of the, the pilot's speed and starts uh, booting everything up. Uh, it just kind of, you see you're quickly kind of getting everything going and says, looks to you guys, run or you want to stay and fight this? <laughs> uh, excuse me, my seven hit points say uh, run. I think we're a little bit... The soldiers uh, said that? Or... Uh, no, May Ren, no. yeah. Oh, uh. Oh yeah. I just kind of, if I'm even assisting her, you know, just be like, yeah, we're moving along. Sweet. Uh, you, you see, you're kind of booting up the systems, and uh, you see, you look over to uh, regular Ren uh, and go, "Pile us out of here." I'm still a little tired from the ordeal. Yeah. Uh, so she kind of just passes over the, uh, the control over to the co-pilot seat for you to get everything finished and booted up. Uh, give me a piloting roll. Uh, as you kind of start getting everything up and start to hover, uh, you feel almost like a tractor beam is latched onto yeah. the ship, uh, <laughs> pulling you guys deeper into the hangar bay uh, as you're trying to move through. Uh, do I really feel great. like that's a, a force power that's doing that or a, a mechanical? <laughs> Uh, yeah, definitely. So it does feel like a force power. So if you want to try to, so I'm guessing uh, sever force isn't gonna like completely cut it. But could I do it to give him an edge in the roll? Sure. Yeah. So I'd... could I could I help him with this? I don't know. Uh, help. Uh, so the sever force yeah, would definitely can give you advantage on that, Ren. Yay. Okay. I'm going to piloting. Nice. Uh, so you feel it kind of dragging you back. Uh, fortunately, you feel uh, Ping kind of focusing up his own energy. Uh, and it just gives you just a brief respite uh, from the pool, and you're able to rock it out of there. Uh, and you just see a uh, Mayrin ship. Uh, that's a hard thing to be with this arc, what have you. But there you yeah. So we'll be too many Yeah. <laughs> May, yeah. Uh, you see uh, May's ship just blast out of there. Uh, you guys are able to leave the hangar bay uh, and make your way back into space over Terrace. Uh, as you guys are kind of flying through there, uh, you do see uh, a number of ships start popping into the system now, too. Uh, and you see kind of as you get a little more perspective on the ship, uh, you see that just banged up Republic Star Destroyer just literally spearheaded uh, the Mandalore's Dreadnought. Uh, just part of the, the front of the ship is just completely through the Dreadnought. Uh, you see a lot of it has been vented to the air. 
Uh, but as you guys are popping through, numerous other ships just are coming from hyperspace. Uh, you see the the Clan Ordo symbol on a number of them. Uh, they are kind of a both transmitting a, a plea uh, to keep uh, the Mandalorian clans together uh, and uh, kind of calling for all forces to attack that dreadnought, uh, the, the Republic Star Destroyer that came through. Well, yeah, just at the right time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you guys see this all going through. Uh, and uh, Actually, what do you guys want to do? Do you want to assist in that fight, or what are you all thinking? I'm gonna let the Mandalorians answer this one. We've we've helped them enough, I think. <laughs> you guys aren't in for a dog fight. Sorry, but your lovely relatives are in it for themselves, as far as I'm regarded. I don't know if you all are aware, but we have some stake into this uh, fight too, huh? Really? I think. So Ping's yeah. been uh, like tormented by this guy so much that Ping is legitimately afraid and, and would assume that there's just no chance of taking it down. Uh, so he would actually plea uh, with everyone just to flee, including the other Ordo ships. Oh, yeah, including uh, the other Ordo <laughs> ships? Okay. Uh, you can convince Ren, but I don't think you're going to convince them. <laughs> Oh, what's uh, what's uh, Pink's pitch to the Ordo ships? Um, so he would just uh, just say that uh, this is the incarnate of of evil and darkness. Uh, you cannot destroy him; he will consume you. I understand your honor and your pride, but you have to live to fight another day on this one. You'll only you'll I... only grow stronger from this attack. I I have a question. Where did where where's Mandalore? Oh, yeah, did you guys take him with you, or did you, uh, yeah, what'd you guys do with him, actually? I forgot to ask about that. I would have opted to take him with us, because yeah. I, I feel like in Star Wars, if you leave someone on a ship, they're gonna find a way out. <laughs> Either that, or I'm gonna put five bolts through his head, just to be sure. Uh, does, uh, do we still have the helmet? I do, I yeah. took the helmet off. Yeah, I, I, that would be my only concern, is the helmet, so. Yeah. Basically strip them so they he, can't like. I track put us binders on him, so I mean, you know, yeah, he is by bound, himself yeah. he can do something. But I mean, if yeah. if the ship basically just you know is destroyed, like that probably takes care of that problem. I know, but I don't want Nihilus to be Although, like. He'll probably get his hello. puppet. Yeah. So. Yeah. So Ping, yeah. give me a persuasion check. And I uh, used uh, three uses, so I can't do an auto. Um. <laughs> oh, terrible. Yeah. Oh, yeah, especially right. the plus 11, yeah. Uh, so I, I would, hang on to you. Uh, I would have, at least to our crew, I, I know I know where Ren's head is at with this as well. And as much as I would stand alongside her to go in this fight, uh, looking around at the rest of us uh, in horrible shape, I... Uh, would would echo to an extent uh, Ping's sentiment there and say, at least at this point we cannot take this head on. We need to regroup. Um, yeah, and, and feel free to contest Ping on that. That's just what he would do because he's been mm -hmm. messed with so much. Yeah, I was. I mean, that was going to be what I was going to say anyway. So I was just kind of, kind of, yeah, going off. Sweet. So uh, either or you can roll a persuasion check yourself, or Ping, you can do it uh, another time with uh, the advantage for the help. Uh, yeah, I will. I will defer to Ping. <laughs> oh my god. That's terrible. Oh my god, your other one was a nat too? Oh. Yeah. yeah, I rolled yep. a two and a one. Yep. Uh, Both has spoken. Yeah. It is not been a good roll day. Uh, we have the inspiration. You right? guys do have uh, one inspiration. One yeah. inspiration. Yep. Why not? Uh, you can't, you you can't get an 11. <laughs> Third time's a try. <laughs> um, hey, there we go. There we go. You did get an 11. 
Uh, sweet. So you saw I see the Clan Ordo fighters kind of like start arcing towards the uh, the Star Destroyer, the Ravager that just showed up. Uh, but after uh, Ping and Ul both kind of get on the speakers and plead with them, uh, you, you see them pull back uh, and just begin kind of encircling, uh, kind of almost like a, a border protection uh, around uh, the former Mandalore's Dreadnought and the Ravager who just had smashed, spearheaded through it. Uh, for a while, you see nothing really happens. Like you just, uh, everything just kind of hangs still. Uh, but you guys feel the force, just the darkness ebbing and flowing. Uh, and as it kind of ebbs and flows, you kind of feel numerous lights just, just disappear from the web of the force. Uh, uh, you feel the darkness consume them, and, not, and you've all have been through war and battle. You felt oh, people die, uh, but this feels almost more like an animal feeding than somebody being shot or killed. Uh, you feel their essence that it just go into the forest and just completely be engulfed by the darkness ahead of you. Uh, this goes on for about another 10 minutes uh, until you really just feel almost a black hole uh, from where that ship was. Uh, and after a moment, uh, you see the Ravager pull uh, out of the, uh, the former Mandalore's hull uh, and you see the ship streak to hyperspace. Uh, and you see uh, the Mandalore smile just completely fall uh, and he starts to shout you, you were supposed to take me with you you, you were supposed to bring me traitor yeah just gonna pull <laughs> that doesn't have any friends he really yeah. doesn't <laughs> sorry for him mm, no, someone, no, someone, no, no I don't give him a no. hug <laughs> yeah. hey, come here buddy <laughs> all found out but it's okay <laughs> uh, after a bit uh, you guys uh, do kind of make your way back down to Terrace uh, towards your ship uh, it may just kind of seem just almost at a loss for words uh, it kind of takes a look uh, at Wool uh, and then kind of looks up and looks down at the helmet and goes what are you going to do with that <sighs> kind of like try and you know jokingly uh put it on over my large <laughs> hammer head <laughs> Who, who's I asking me may may's saying this yep, uh, okay may's saying that. i do that for you know with a smirk on my face and then uh look at her and um turn to ren after and say uh i'll hand it over to to ren say I'm not suggesting you take this, but I'm offering it you to decide its fate. Oh God! <laughs> Shoot it like an airlock. <laughs> right. Screw up everything. <laughs> um. God, I don't know. This thing has caused a lot of trouble, huh? You see, uh, your, your mother nods and goes, It's both good and bad, uh, like all things are. Uh, it could let our people into greatness, but it's also let our people into ruin. Uh, but usually, who, he who has that helmet uh, has at least a strong claim to being Mandalore. I'll, I'll look back to me and I'll say, And what would you do with it? You see, it kind of pause and think the devourer what was a griffin idiot uh, I'll, I'll give you that uh, especially seeing how he's broken but retaking the homeworld that was smart I would retake the homeworld if I was Mandalore don't care if it's a republic don't care if it's a sith holding it I want to go back home see that's fair enough What's, what is the current situation of it right now? Uh, the Republic holds it. The uh, okay. Republic is in control of Mandalore. Okay. Ping would just kind of shrug and say, I've been nothing against the Mandalorians. Hey, I hope you take the homeworld. We just couldn't let a puppet uh, from such an evil force do it. Yeah, I think, you know. 
with Darth Nihilus' power behind him, you know, it would have been a real bad time. But you know, I, I want, <laughs> I want the home world to be taken back. That'd be fun. You see her smile. It goes. Uh, that's my daughter. The home world. We'll, you'll get back there one day. You'll be. We'll have our old new house built uh, on the land we'll be able to go back to where we belong uh, no republic dogs hanging over us uh, no no new wars to go after just back home I hope so Ool at mention of that it hits Ool pretty hard and he, he looks to Ren and doesn't say anything, just gives a nod. Implying that... I think you know what you want to do with that, and... Yeah. I I stand by your decision. Yeah, yeah. Ping I just kind of remind the group, we did sort of plan, or promise it to Ordo, just... <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but listen here, Mom. If I end, <laughs> if you end up going full, you know, crazy dark mode on us, we're gonna come back. And I say it with like a smile. <laughs> she's she's here to shake her head. Says, After we take the home world, I, I've had my fill of war, at least at least for a little while. I wanna just take just take stock of everything for a bit. Just kind of exist for a while. Most sensible thing I've, I think I've heard from Mandalorian. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Red's right there, man. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, and talk to those Ordo guys. I know. I know they're how they are. <laughs> but I think it'd be best for everyone if we could at least try and reunite a little bit more. I forgot we got him to retreat. I was going to say, those Ordo guys are dead, but never mind. <laughs> yeah, we got him to retreat. Yeah. Yeah. So is our payday. <laughs> That's true. He was supposed to give us a bunch of credits for the ship. No, he already gave us credits for the ship, right? I meant when we were going to yeah, give we him gonna... the Dreadnought. Oh, yeah, yeah, a bunch yeah, of credits. yeah. Well, it's still there. It's but, uh, you know... <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's not our fault. <laughs> Just um, all right, you go pick up your dreadnought now. <laughs> Probably a few bodies you got to clear out, but uh, it's all yours. <laughs> yeah, we can contact them after this. this. Is the important thing? I hand it to my mom. <laughs> and... She see kind of take the helmet just like just for a moment she doesn't say anything she looks just kind of looks at it uh and just almost weighing the moment uh and then you see her uh remove the, the helmet that she's worn for years the one that you've seen her uh with pretty much all of your life uh and she dons a new helmet uh and is going to stake her claim for being mandalore with fits. <laughs> You see her kind of shaking her head around. It goes, we'll have to have it reforged, but for now, the symbol is necessary. Okay. Uh, she goes, looks uh, at the rest of you guys. It goes, I don't think I could convince you to help us retake the home world, can I? He actually just shrugs and goes, man, maybe. <laughs> we have other priorities to focus on, I think. My schedule's clear, but <laughs> they all oh, stop other than stuff. being hunted. <laughs> yeah. uh, you see her look around and goes, ah, yeah, you, you all may have to take a look at the, figure out a way to get rid of that bastard. Uh, you seem pretty nasty, and I don't want him back around here sniffing around Mandalore. Yeah, it's pretty bad news. So perhaps uh, you help us before we help you. How can I help? I'm taking care of that uh, bastard before he comes sniffing around here. I just, you know, I, just, I could be on board for that. Uh, he's played too much part of Mandalore's politics already. 
uh, after we prove that this bastard uh, is a traitor, you see her kind of point to uh, the sniveling man lore uh, that's been bound uh, to the ground. <laughs> Uh, hey, buddy. <laughs> uh, after I proved the clans, I'll be happy to help you all take a run at that guy. Uh, Heck yeah. So yeah. If you guys get a, she looks uh, to Ren and kind of gives a little playful nudge and says, if my daughter's going to be friends with the Jedi, I guess I got to get used to hunting Sith. <laughs> and once that's Not done, that right. we will we will get your home back. Check on that one. Take that <laughs> to the bank. Uh, that's I guess that's fair enough. Might uh, be better for us to, I don't know, go about it a more... Instead of trying to take back the planet by force, if we're trying to, you know... It might coincide with another plot that we have to resolve. We'll deal with it when it comes. <laughs> we're getting too far into it. Here, mom. Thank you. Uh, so, uh, Mandalore Ren, for at least right now. Uh, yeah. Just she gets a cool title. Uh, <laughs> uh, you see her kind of go off, uh, begin kind of barking orders at people in the encampment, uh, trying to get everything up and mobilized. Uh, she does bring you back to the to the ship. Uh, it just kind of pulls uh, regular Ren aside uh, before <laughs> uh, going. Uh, You've done well for yourself. For all these years, I've, I've worried that you've been just either killed by uh, our own people after you betrayed us or just hiding out in the gutter. I'm glad that you found you <laughs> found a friends. Gutter hiding. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you found your own your own sense of people and your own honor. I'm proud of you. Thank you. That means a lot. Because, uh, don't go joining up with the Republic, but I guess hanging out with the Jedi is okay. Revan was a Jedi, and he's a little bit of a bastard, but he was pretty effective, so you're doing all right. Uh, yeah. Just got to pat you on your shoulder and says, just, just stay safe out there. I will. I'll hopefully see you soon enough. Hopefully on the home world, or after we gun that, uh, that Sith down. Yep. <laughs> uh, after that, you see her kind of, uh, kind of give you a quick hug uh, before going back uh, to kind of start to organize her own troops to try to see uh, if she can convince Clan Ordo uh, to jump on board with her. Uh, you get, she brings you back to your ship, so you guys are back on the Crimson Ronto, uh, and you guys are able to get a long rest uh, and actually level up to level eight too. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, sweet. So, uh, Pike, in the session there, uh, you guys are uh, going to get a couple more kind of story leads uh, in the the post. Uh, but basically, uh, this is kind of getting closer to the end game. Uh, so the We're Sith the Lords end. are uh, start really pulling some shit now, for lack of a better way to put it. Okay. Uh, and finding a way to put them down will be kind of a, a big focus for the group. I guess. I mean, hey, we got one set, one uh, set of allies, right? Sure. We keep. <laughs> <laughs> Build them up. That's how you do it. Uh, so uh, I'll throw some uh, stuff in there over the next week or two. Uh, let me know. Cause yeah, level eight. That's a fun level. We get uh, another so, for this. You get feet plus one as well. Yep. So feet plus, uh, feet plus ABI on that one too. So let me know what oh, ABI uh, and what feet you choose on that side, uh, and then uh, level up before next session, and uh, we'll be able to kick it off there and. Uh, I know you guys wanted to do some shopping and sell some stuff, so you guys could go to a civilized planet if you like. Let me pull up a little map. Uh, what is a civilized planet by Terra? That's not Mandalore. Oh, uh, where are you guys at, Terra? You guys could go to like. Oh, you guys could go to Ithor if you wanted to. That's not too far from Terra. Uh, civilized planet. Count. Uh, and we still gotta sell the the crate pearl. Oh yeah. 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 So you guys have the, the crate pearl. I think you have something else to do to sell too. Uh, we got I a bunch Kang of gems. Yeah. That. Yeah. So gotta go out there. Uh, nice thing I'll say too is you guys can uh, 
pretty easily find a premium item uh, outlook. Uh, just with, uh, especially if you guys go to Ithor with Ool, probably having some connections out there. Uh, you guys can find a little bit of a supplier and uh, buy some uh, premium modifications too, if you like. Uh, sweet. So that, that's where we'll kind of cut off today, and we'll pick up uh, in two weeks. Uh, with uh, I'm gonna post some threads there, so let me know which ones you guys want to pursue. Uh, but going after the got a Sith Lord hunt. Do we get any? Awesome. Uh, do we get any downtime? Or uh, if 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 we do, how many days do we get? Uh, I'll give you guys a week of downtime. Uh, you guys take a week on it, Thor. Cool. We welcome. Awesome. Thank you so much. Floating in, in the floating cities above Ithor. Oh, true, yeah. Uh, little orbital cities. <laughs> yeah. All right. Awesome. Good session, Tegan. Yes. See you guys next right. time. Thank you. Yeah, guys. Have a good one.